I've played each one of them over and over at least a dozen times or more. All I've got is a beat up chair, a mattress, a fork, and another to spare, and that dusty old pile of records on my floor. I got Willie Whalen and Woody Guthrie, Jimmy Buffett, Lyle Lovett, and Bobby Gentry, Jerry Jeff, Bob Dylan, Donnie Fritz, the Dead in the Doors, Patsy Klein, John Prine, and more. I got Jackson Brown, Towns, Van Zandt, Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, Harry Chapin, got Clark Van Halen. I got Rita, Chris, Keith, Sykes, and Country Joe when he was singing with the fish, you know. I got Emmy Lou, you two, and Arlo, James Taylor, Jimmy Rogers, Hank Williams, and Mojo Nixon, Hendrix Haggard, and a whole lot more. And that dusty old pile of vinyl records sitting on my floor. One time in San Francisco, I was standing in the airport line. In one bag, I had all my clothes, and the other was all them old records of mine. The lady said I could only bring one bag. I had two. Oh, what a drag. I had to jump on the plane and leave all my clothes behind. <laughs> but I got Willie Whalen and Woody Guthrie, Jimmy Buffett, I love it, and Bobby Gentry, Jerry Jeff, Bob Dylan, Donnie Fritz, Dead in the Doors, Patsy Klein, John Prine, and more. I got Jackson Brown, Towns, Van Zandt, Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, Harry Chapin, got Clark Van Halen. I got Rita, Chris Keith, Sox, and Country Joe when he was singing with the fish, you know. I got Emmy Lou, you two, and Arlo, James Taylor, Jimmy Rogers, Hank Williams, and Mojo Nixon, Hendrix Haggard, and a whole lot more. I got all the Booker T's, Tom T. Hawks, Bobby Bear, Belafonte, and the New York Dolls, Billy Joe, Jimmy Croce, Kiss, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, John June, and a Roseanne Cash. I got T-Birds, Yardbirds, Sam and Dave, Forbert from Holt, Stevie Ray, and if you're one of the 12 or 13 people that bought my third album, you might have figured out already that I got piles and piles and piles. <laughs> Tom Petty. <laughs> In that dusty old stack of vinyl records I got sitting on my floor. Hey, that's Todd Snyder. Swell human being. Check out his Instagram. He's re-recording a lot of his earlier stuff. It's worth a look. Good morning and welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom taking a couple of days off, so Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello, Chick. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chicky. He's over there at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. And there's some sort of state or federal law, I'm not sure which, that we have to have a Griswold on the show. <laughs> so it's Willie Griswold is here. Hey, gang. Radio show? Hey. Yeah, why not? We got the mics, we got the chairs. <laughs> we missed you, Will. Let's, let's do it. You know? I missed y'all. Good to see you. Your I hair like looks amazing. It does. It's high yeah. and yeah. lofty and thick. Uh, haven't washed in like five days. A lot of dry shampoo in there. Sure. Nice. Going to work. Thank very, you, guys. I appreciate nice. that, man. Nice th- and tall. I feel like we should check up with him and see what he's been up to I know, since he's like, been gone. Yeah, or? you've been. You haven't been home in months. What's mm-hmm. going on? Yeah, just out on the road. You went to the Super Bowl. That mm-hmm. was. That had to be fun, right? Super Bowl was very fun. Me and Noah had a nice little adventure out there. A lot of laser tag architecture to appreciate. <laughs> Quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> Went to a lot of weird art installations. A lot of very fun weirdos. Got in and out twice. No God, big deal. That's, that's huge. Left my keys at the hotel. Ooh. Laura had to pick them up for me, so that's a little inside. But Is yeah, that right? Okay. What a fun little trip to Vegas. Thank God she was there to get them, though. I know. It worked out <laughs> right? great. It worked out really well. She's <laughs> never home. But anyway. <laughs> You're right. Takes a lot of pictures. She is never uh, home. Also, today we're uh, going to talk with Greg Hahn. He'll be here in the studio. And uh, also, Jeff Oske is going to stop by. Wow, we're going to have a lot of fun. Holy cow. Uh, Tell us about how it's going to be. And Do we get breakfast today? And this, that, and the other. Uh, other yeah, substitute. we could if you'd like. We can do anything we want. Just need Tom's card. We're good to go. The, uh, I think Mark oh, has it. Mark has it. Mark has, has it. Yeah. I have it. We're really at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. We That's do right. breakfast. <laughs> brunch. Uh, and a brunch. Breakfast every hour. And oh. then? Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, in sports this morning, real quick, uh, Caitlin Clark actually uh, wasted no time becoming the NCAA women's career scoring leader. Leader, taking less than three minutes to score uh, the eight points she needed to break <laughs> Kelsey Plum's record. Wow. Clark did it with her uh, signature shot. Uh, they call it, oh, it's from the logo. Uh, a 35-foot three-pointer that hit nothing but the bottom of the net. She she got the record, scored eight last night, and then went ahead and scored 41 more for a total of 49 Good measure, night. yeah. <laughs> yeah, as uh, Iowa beat, uh, who was it, Michigan, 106-89. Uh, she now is like 99 points away from uh, the all-time college uh, scoring leader, 
Pistol Pete Maravich. Wow. Are you serious? Okay. And Pistol Pete. I loved him when I was a kid. I, in the floppy and the slouchy socks. Yes. He was one of my favorites when I was a kid. And, Celtics? Yeah, he played for the Celtics yeah. for a bit. And the Jazz, I yeah. think. Yeah, LSU is where he did his college I damage. That. And uh, he played four years. Uh, when they did not have the three-point shot in college, <laughs> so he, he averaged 44 points a game. Yeah. Boy, Man. I'll just let that, let that sit there and, and marinate there for a little bit. Uh, and the other big sports story yesterday is that uh, Tiger Woods back on the course. He was at the uh, Genesis in Los Angeles. That's not any golf tournament. That's a Los Angeles golf tournament. They were Illegal. they kept going on about how wonderful the uh, the the course looked after all the rain they had in L.A. Genesis, isn't that the one he crashed when he was in Southern California? <laughs> oh, I think you're right. <laughs> you know, I hadn't put that together until right this moment. Didn't he Tidy. try to go around that? Eighty well, miles an hour. <laughs> he didn't do much better on the course yesterday. Oh. Well, not in a car. He shot a uh, even part. Uh, well, a one over seventy two. But uh, Patrick, the unfortunately named Patrick Cantlay, Can't mm, no, oh, that's that's he uh, he shot a 64 <laughs> at the Genesis Invitational. Can we look that up to see if is that what he was driving? Yes, that I'm sounds sure. that sounds right. Yeah, because yeah, I was kind of looking yeah. at him at the mm -hmm. time. But they and, were really and you, uh, Josh, you knew how fast he was going because you were really upset with it. I don't know. <laughs> 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 it is. I, his, his main goal is to uh, commit yeah. some sort of involuntary manslaughter. In his, <laughs> all the vehicular. Uh, so we got this text yesterday. <laughs> speaking of all the rain in L.A., my nephew's supposed to get married in L.A. And uh, we got a text yesterday. Um, we're going to have to find a new venue. Our chapel slid into the sea yesterday. Oh, <laughs> boy, that's, a, that's an omen, isn't it? <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's, that's hey, honey, maybe we should rethink this. I thought, <laughs> wait a little bit. <laughs> I thought I had the ultimate uh, marriage story. It was my first marriage. Right. Uh, for the, I've been married three times, and apparently that's all. But uh, my point is, uh, we were on our way for the blood test of our first marriage. We got into a car crash. Oh. oh. And we both thought, you know, laughing, ha ha, maybe we should, ha ha. No, it turns out, yeah, we should have not done, done it. <laughs> so next to that is having the, the chapel, chapel into the slide sea. into the sea. <laughs> you don't see that very My often. My goodness. Right? When are you going to get married, Josh? Yeah, you Josh. Yeah, you're your right. ass Josh, and find a nice, enjoy this I have to, a nice man or a woman or a gold it. retriever or whatever you want to marry. Sure. What's going on over there? Have you, have you had a dream wedding in your head what it would look like i uh, yes and it's very different than what i assume my uh, bride potential bride be. would be yeah it's very uh it's gonna take a while for you like, to find someone who likes this it's wedding. like getting some officiant to my house <laughs> while we're still in bed on a saturday morning and just read over us is and it, we're married is it hard to get paul coffin to officiate the wedding like you want <laughs> to would that probably be? not he, he would probably be on board well, he could do the reception that would be <laughs> yeah. fun that would be great yeah. that does yes. sound like the ideal ceremony <laughs> you wake up at like i don't know 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning on a saturday there's the officiant and yeah he's reading over you uh, you want to wake her up? If uh, she says I do, you guys are married. Yeah, sure, Padre. Uh, you want some coffee? Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay, you're and married. He makes breakfast for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, breakfast that's not right bad. There. Yeah. Nice. So, My goodness. I got to stop loving being alone so much before I get married. It's I good, feel I don't want to get married and be like, oh, by the way, I have to disappear for four weeks <laughs> <laughs> to be alone. In my head. <laughs> four weeks seems like excessive. That's a how, lot about, of time. how about just go out? <laughs> In my head? Go out to a movie? No. <laughs> In my head, I was like, four weeks is low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to uh, you might yeah. so, take uh, a look. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get married? <laughs> uh, we'll get there. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, the NBA All-Star Game, uh, the All-Star Weekend is in full swing in a far-off place called Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, they are having a party uh, downtown. And uh, good luck driving downtown. Yeah, I hope you buy your snow boots. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, just uh, uh, Indianapolis is a uh, snowstorm four inches today. Expected. Two to four, yeah. Two to four inches. So, Two to four, uh, that's so many inches. Whoa. That's so Check many. Four list. inches. Oh, kind of a freak can handle. Oh, sorry. Four <laughs> inches. Handle that many. So, but you know who's going to be here? Uh, uh, Vicky Vicky Wem Wem? Vicky Vicky <laughs> Wem Wem. That's exactly right. And we should have made shirts. We should have Vicky Vicky Wem Wem shirts. Seen if it would take. What up. if he would have worn a Vicky Vicky Wem Wem <laughs> shirt during warm ups for the All Star? If he does that in the All Star game, I will get married Monday. <laughs>
Oh, wow. How about Skull? Go to a 7-Eleven. Hey, you, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> you like me? I like a you. Let's do this. I don't know why that guy had that accent, but that, that's what. And uh, something cool coming up. Uh, I wanted to talk about this for a long time, and now I feel like I... Can. I can. Uh, Major League Baseball, uh, the season's coming up, and uh, the Cleveland Guardians are going to play a baseball game on the day that uh, there's a solar eclipse, total eclipse. And Cleveland That's is right. one of the areas that are affected with totality. So they're going to have a, a party. Heck yeah, they are. At Guardians Park. They're going to uh, watch the eclipse, and then the uh, Guardians and the White Sox are going to play a baseball game. How effing cool is that? That Very is cool. cool. That, you know, like, and then the uh, manager for the uh, Guardians come out and say all right now i'm going to bring back the sun and there it is <laughs> yeah. that'll be cool it'll be cool to buy a hot dog during an experience that'll only happen once in your life it'll be cool. hey can i get a couple dogs over here big guy let's make this happen <laughs> as the light is dimming yeah. and <laughs> yeah the next one's not until 2045 so what's wrong I won't with see me it. that that sounds wonderful that the best thing about having a total eclipse is eating a hot dog during it. That doesn't seem... <laughs> It'd be amazing. That doesn't seem... A little break all. from the ball game. Just a nice yeah. afternoon. <laughs> Nothing like a stadium dog, right? Uh, also, uh, coming up in sports, we'll have a couple of world records, including uh, Denmark, where they talk real funny, <laughs> and um, matchsticks again in uh, world records. I don't know why that seems to be popular. They uh, had a matchstick uh, uh, replica of the Eiffel Tower. Remember oh, that? that's right. Oh, we yeah. were trying... Willie, you don't know this. We were trying to talk about the Super Bowl a couple of days ago and the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl and, and beating the uh, petulant child that is Kyle Shanahan and the San Francisco 49ers. And uh, someone wanted to talk about this magnificent, fascinating <laughs> Eiffel Tower made out of... Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the big man. The big man got involved. Yeah, <laughs> the, the big man got involved with National the news story. Blown yeah. away by it. <laughs> Blown away and fascinated. That may be where he is today. <laughs> well, it, the Eiffel Tower. He might be out. He might be checking the Eiffel yeah. Tower out made out of matchsticks. Did he say like, now are these? Do they have some sort of special safety wax tip over yeah, these? Or they're they they like Tom, fire. Tom, the Super Bowl, Taylor Swift. Nobody's ever heard of her. Now this Eiffel <laughs> Tower is uh, fascinating. Not relatable. <laughs> Not relatable. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking. Of food, uh, hot dogs, a total eclipse, and ordering uh, breakfast. Uh, let's uh, let's talk for a moment about Hello Fresh. How do you escape the winter blahs? Well, I'll tell you, Hello Fresh, because they delish they deliver delicious comfort food right to your door. That's right, over forty five recipes on the menu each week. Options inspired by cuisines all over the world, and I mean Mediterranean, Asian, you name it, they have it. And best part is, you can try all of these world worldly foods with spices that you've probably never heard of because they send them to you in your kit. Before you call a restaurant, you should know that HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than most takeout with dozens of chef-curated recipes that you can get on your table faster than delivery like this one. Y'all, check out the one-pan cheesy beef tortilla melts with green pepper and spicy cream oh sauce. HelloFresh sends you eight ingredients. Put those together in six easy <laughs> steps. 25 minutes, you have this delicious dinner you made at home with help from HelloFresh. Oh, it looks wonderful, Willie. The HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping you don't have to. They're here to warm up your chilly mornings, too, with free breakfast. You heard me. Free breakfast. Right now, when you join HelloFresh, you'll get free breakfast for life while your subscription is active. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code BTSHOWFREE at HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOWFREE. That's one free breakfast item per box with an active subscription. Just use the code BTSHOWFREE at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Yum. More sports coming up, including a basketball team right before the game gets stuck in an elevator. Yep. Oops. That happened. Oh, boy. And uh, what's coming up in the news, Christine? Uh, heck, I don't know. I haven't even looked yet. All I'll right, let sir. You know. right, she's going to let us know. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential. Should okay, I here open? comes Marilyn, so everybody. So here's my girlfriend. This um, is uh, your mistress, uh, Jan. You shut your mouth. We, we, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's yes. good. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope yeah, you have the VIP good. camera. Oh, Very strong. Oh, hey, hey. oh, my. Look at those oh. legs. 
I don't Pat, think Pat I don't Lipson. think Marilyn Marilyn didn't have that kind of muscle tone. <laughs> <laughs> Pat McAfee's NFL kicker leg. Yeah. Uh, How do your arms look good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> your lipstick is amazing. I almost can't handle it. I can't oh. either. Can you sit in that? Pat? Your husband can. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Again, I know this is totally visual. This is terrible radio, but it's fabulous. We will be getting lots of pictures of this out there. Up. I need a picture with my lady. Pat's Pat's having problems with his brassiere. My uh, apparently. I, um, I got huge jugs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just found out. Uh, He's got oh, his goodness. phone. He's Yo, got his phone stuff down on cleavage. Okay, he yeah. can't be without it for Twitter. We're going to take some shots right now. The ladies are posing. Oh, um, uh, once again, uh, from the <laughs> Pat's face is hilarious. Uh, He's got the little uh, BT spot going as well. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, bud. Once again, once again. Now, Christy, I know that you were upset. Let, now, look at this. I want I want approval here. You can see I have ten envelopes. Right. You can see here. Now, Christy, give me a number between 1 and 10. 10 is my lucky number. 10 is your lucky number. Okay. Now, yeah, as right. you recall, last year, yeah. Christy was dressed up as Teddy Roosevelt with the... Uh, the Probably the best the, Teddy Roosevelt in history. The hunting hat, the mustache, and uh, whatever that hat is called. Uh, and, and you had the kind of... Uh, a hunting shirt on, sure. like a newscaster, right. like I were all the time. And you were not happy. This is the tenth one, as you can see. We had, we had ten options for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Now we have ten presidents here. Mm -hmm. Now you have opened just open one of them. Thank uh -huh. you very much. And see which which of the ten you're going to be today, ladies and gentlemen. Christy Lee, open up the number. Which totally you get totally to be? random. Totally, totally random. random. You heard me pick ten. Okay. My lucky okay. Number. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Who is it? Oh, it's Teddy Roosevelt. What <laughs> are the chances? Yes. Now, this time it's well. It's, that's weird. It's, it's Teddy in a, in a suit though, so it's a different look. I have to wear a suit. We're not going to put you in the same costume. Uh, we, we, uh, I'm wearing heels. Uh, I'm right. wearing heels. Can I ask a question? And I have a wig yeah. that's yeah. in my head. How many envelopes did you have? <laughs> Ten. Ten. And in each. Can I see? Let's say you got number seven. <laughs> abort no, mission. No, abort no, no, mission. No. Can we all get number seven? <laughs> yeah, let's try number one. <laughs> this is the kind of distrust <laughs> is why we I'm left just, the English. Same, I'm just kidding, George. This picture was in all ten envelopes. That's what I think, yeah. That's what I think, How dare you people? I don't know whether I'm insulted that that's what you did, or you think that we, we wouldn't catch on? <laughs> what did he say? He says we're I, ignorant. I think, yeah. I, think I'm, I think I'm more upset at the last one. Although part. I do uh, have to admit, if I'm doing this picture, am I doing this exact photograph? Yeah. Because I really like the tails. And we had to get 10 different Very costumes, nice. and you picked that. You'll, you'll be in tails <laughs> as Teddy Roosevelt. It won't be the oh, hunting nice Teddy Roosevelt. Chain. Once again, uh, we're getting all these photographs out on uh, oh, our website. These shoes. heels are horrible. Are they? Mm. Let me see them. You guys wear heels all the time. I don't know how you do it. See, not too many TV shows. <laughs> you close really wearing close your legs. Would there's there's only only what feet. size? Are those Maryland. size 12 you, heels? 14. 14. 14 ladies? 14s. Oh, yeah. We, we, yeah, you're damn right it is. Yeah, man. We had a guy on the show, uh, a real nice gentleman, a couple years ago. That's a cross dresser. What's, wasn't he wearing like a size 14? Those are 14s. Yeah, and there's there's a there's a uh, I guess a place online where if you uh, want to cross dress, you can. Those get are my boobs. You know me in shoes. And there, and my boobs. there's definitely a shoe store that I know of. Well, we all With know your that, that. They do uh, uh, more than half their. Yeah, business, Jackie, yours are a little uh, larger lost size their women's shape. shoes. I have to be Teddy Roosevelt again? Yep. That's, it's so, just you setting picked in, the number. Isn't it? You picked the number. We go ahead, Christy. Go, on, get, get, go get started. Why couldn't we do this normal? Like, I could have been Jackie O, you know? I like, could have been, that's I how even, this started. I would have even been happy to be Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Opposed to Teddy that's Roosevelt. That's how this started. We were, we were sitting around, and I said, well, we could have Nicole do Jackie Kennedy because she has such nice hair. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened. Then I decided, wait a minute, it'd be a lot funnier. Because you've got such a beautiful smile. You've got that Kennedy, the Kennedy teeth. Oh, yeah. check. Yep, we hey, sure did. Uh, you play with your friends, they're always drunk too. You know, all your buddies are always <laughs> mm -hmm. playing there. I get this uh, phrase, I draw it, you know, they're hey, how about a guy frying his own penis? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's in Pictionary, right? idiot. That's, it's Peter Pan, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't Freddy here, you moron. <laughs>
Lowell, Lowell, Lowell Sanders is here with us. I'm on the road. Uh, are you now, single? Lowell, are, are you a single, single man? Yeah, I uh, left a wife in Detroit. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see how it works. Police should have found her by now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They won't, they won't find her. Hey, no way. You're, you're that good, aren't yeah. you? Well, essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah, go! This is Bob and Tom Radio. Bob and Tom Radio. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy's here and Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby. Uh, I'm Chick, and Willie Griswold's back. Hey, gang. Good Man, to see y'all. Can't yeah. get any better than this. Greg Hahn's coming in here in oh a bit. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Wow. Uh, also, Jeff Oske is going to stop by. And oh. I think um, during, uh, well, I guess this would be new entertainment news, we have one of the foremost authorities on the world of Bigfoot and Sasquatch in yes. the studio with oh, us right now. We do. I don't know if anyone's aware of this, but there is a new movie it uh, screened at Sundance and it did very well. There's no Eng uh, there's no words in it, just uh, grunts and things. <laughs> Are you serious? The title of the movie is called Sasquatch Sunset. What? And and it's getting rave reviews. There are no words in it. And it's a Sasquatch family out in the wilderness. <laughs> wow! And oh my. Ev by everybody. Everybody says it's an amazing movie. It's heartwarming. Aww. It brings the family together. There's a mom and dad and a couple of kids. Sass made for everybody. Just made. There's a little something for everyone. Aww, I've got to see it. Yeah. There's one monologue and the grunts. They're just biting. You know. I bet. It's just. It just gets you right in the emotion. In the trailer, there's uh, Mama Sasquatch is uh, being a Mama Sasquatch with Daddy Sasquatch out. Uh, really? Yeah. They're doing it. They're out in the woods. Yeah. Really? <laughs> is, is somebody watching a hockey game? <laughs> yes. That's how the Sasquatch... Uh, uh, sure, sure. That's how yeah. they would... Um, yeah. Okay, well... I guess Riley Keough is yes. Mama Sasquatch. And oh, that's Elvis's granddaughter. Yeah, and I think Jesse Eisenberg is in it or as oh, one gosh. of the Sasquatches. <laughs> wow. Man. I'll have to keep an eye out for What's it? What's plural for Sasquatch? Do we know? Uh, I don't, you know what? I don't know. Big, big foots or big feet. Big feet We've yeah. always had big that. Feet. I don't know if it would go Sasquatches or just Sasquatch, like, you know, like, uh, uh, what the hell else is it? Fish. <laughs> fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a herd. <laughs> what the hell else is that? <laughs> a herd of a Sasquatch. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, I heard a Sasquatch. <laughs> Wait, Jesse Eisenberg plays a Sasquatch? Uh -huh. I, yeah, I think so. That, Jesse, he's only ever played Jesse Eisenberg his whole career. He's all, <laughs> yeah, in uh, Social Network, yeah. he was Jesse Eisenberg. In Social Eisenberg. Network, he's Jesse Eisenberg in 30 Minutes or Less. He's Je that guy is really good at being him, but I can't imagine him being Bigfoot. That What's the like name a, of this movie? It's called Sasquatch Sunset. Is mm. it like it's a it's like a CGI Sasquatch and we hear Jesse Eisenberg's voice? Or no, just, it's it, them in the suits. Up. It's just Mark Zuckerberg is just standing there and he's pretending to be a Sasquatch. Sasquatch sunset, <laughs> by golly! Mm. Well, I'm I'm, I'm definitely uh, intrigued. The yeah. cast behind Sasquatch Sunset set out on a boot camp to learn how to have a lumbering gait like a Sasquatch. <laughs> the cast was in full body <laughs> prosthetics and fur to resemble Sasquatch. Okay. I'm letting Willie watch the trailer here. Oh, is he uh, Is he going at it? Are they going at it? I, I just like some Sasquatch expert. This yeah. notable weirdo out of Montana had to teach <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg how to walk properly That's to look right. like a Sasquatch. And there's a one in, also in the trailer, uh, I think Dad Sasquatch is having an especially bad day. Oh my God! It Whoa! Does open up this right is yeah. they're going at it. This is not a real art house thing. Oh, the oh. second cut looks. Wow, it looks very A twenty four ish. Yeah, it is sense. very much A twenty four. Yeah. My goodness. And uh, Dad Sasquatch goes over and sits on a log, and he's you know having a bad day, and a raccoon comes up, and he reach he reaches over to try to pet the raccoon, and the raccoon runs off. Doesn't want anything to do with oh. the Sasquatch. Oh. And then he does a take. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God. well, that's that's how the day is going. <laughs> Well, cool. I, I hope can't, it's fun. Uh, I can't wait. Until it, the well, trailer, it, it, it just it looks like a like like a fake like a movie where James Franco plays himself, and this is an example of him taking his career too far. <laughs> and this is like the terrible movie that he made, and Nicolas Cage starred in it. I can't believe this is real. I just hope that it is. It, it's good because it's got every chance to be really great. Well, it would but. just be nice to see something unique. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Well, as you know, as uh, the big man always says, uh, what, what uh, L.A. cop, L.A. hospital. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Chicago cops, Chicago yeah. hospital, Chicago Med. fire. Yeah. yeah. 
I'd watch Chicago Sasquatch. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. If yeah. he takes over Chicago. <laughs> Sitting you know, on the L. Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, Stuck in the Dan Ryan. Yeah. He's having a hot dog in front of the having a hot dog in front of the Wrigley sign and going in to watch the Cubs. <laughs> he looks at a guy, he put ketchup on his hot dog. He's a weird guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That'd be all right. Chicago Sasquatch. Uh, I posted the trailer on Insta. I mean on Twitter. X, whatever the hell it's called these days. Uh, like let's see. Here we go. Um, well, let's do this real quick. Uh, Stupid world record. A man from Denmark has earned a Guinness World Record for his uh, unusual talent with matches. Peter von Tangen Buskov. Is that right? <laughs> Once again, that's Peter von Tangen Buskov. <laughs> that name is too long. Yes. Yeah, Shorten that thing yeah, up. Either man. Peter von Tangen or Peter von Buskov. <laughs> you can't you. have Tangen and Buskov. I'm going to call him Petey Tang. He fit it tight. <laughs> he set the world record for the most matches held in his nose after stuffing a total of 68 matchsticks up his nostril. Whoa! One more. 69. Yeah. Oh. It would be uneven. Buddy, be believe uneven. in yourself. Oh, you got to have the same amount in each one. And then it's, that's a friction issue. It exactly. could explode. Yeah. Could, he, oh, his yeah. face could light on fire. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, 39-year-old Peter Van Tagen Buskoff <laughs> is the first person to hold the record and was required to achieve a minimum of 45 matchsticks to have it on record. Oh, he, then he beat it handily, So then he? he beat it and went ahead and put in another 43, 20, 23 for 68 total matchsticks right there in his what nose, the kids. What do you Ugh. think of that? What are you, are you still watching Sasquatch no, Sunset? No, no, no. I'm thinking of <laughs> sticking matchsticks up my nose. I'd be... Oh, yeah. Matchstick man and flat his head. <laughs> that song Tom made us listen to. <laughs> and this, if Tom were here, this is where he would tell the story about little Wilbur sticking blueberries up his nose. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Do you guys know about that? And oh, then he goes, yeah. and it's Do we closed, know about it? It's a closed system. So <laughs> his mother had to hold one nostril and blow into his mouth, and it shot across the living room, and <laughs> one of the you, dogs Will. ate it. Speaking of children, Pat Godwin, don't you have a child? I do. Didn't you reproduce? I have a godson. That's someone? Willie. Yeah. Hey, Pat. Good to see you, big guy. And he's doing comedy. I think probably because of me and my son. I take him with me to shows and stuff. Yeah. He's going to school and he's getting in trouble. So here we go. Why aren't you doing the uh, the ventriloquist bit with your son? That would be fun. <laughs> That'd be great. Put him on your knee and act like you don't have to actually move. You know, on, on his back. And, okay. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> My son arrived 13 years ago. <laughs> he played a little catch. I taught him how to throw, how to pee his name in the fresh white snow. <laughs> he comes with me to my comedy shows. And he was cursing for you, knew it. And as he grew, he said, I want to be like you, Dad. Dad. I want to be a comedian, too. And now the kid's in trouble with the principal. He says, your boy's working blue and quite original. He's singing about pubes and beavers gone bad. So he learned this from his dad, sir. He learned this from his dad. I got Willie in trouble, too. Well, he's back in school, and just the other day, he got off the bus, and all he had to say was, Dad, I don't need math, not one bit. If I want an answer, I can Google it. As I thought about it, it occurred to me, oh, well, my boy was just like me, yeah. <laughs> He'll flunk math just like me. <laughs> now my kid's in trouble with the principal. Texting in class is not permissible. Fights with his mom, don't you know? My boy is just like me, yeah. No need to test for paternity. <laughs> Big ending. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Very nice. Yeah. Lovely. What a terrific, ugly Joe, uh, ugly kid Joe uh, tribute that was. <laughs> I thought you said ugly kid joke. I thought you were just calling Jimmy ugly. No, no, no. no, 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 no I he's a ugly. Kid. I wouldn't do that. He'd stab me. <laughs> <laughs> did ugly kid Joe they do a version Harry of Harry Chapin? Yeah. Harry Chapin? Yeah. Yeah. Pat, I did get How in trouble. How did I miss that, Jim? <laughs> Patty, when I was at camp, I got in trouble because I took one of your songs, I flipped the chords around, and I wrote a song called I Want You Dead. And it was about going on a bad date with a girl and then crawling under her bed and hiding and trying to murder her. Who could I have learned that from? It's not like I had a godfather in a song called Under the Bed. Yeah. Got Voices banned. in my head. Mm -hmm. 
Say La Vie, I Kill the Girl. There's a lot of death in my song. <laughs> oh, we can no, hear you... that. My, my favorite song of yours. Yeah, we, we don't normally can't do that when Tom's what, here. Uh, Voices what's the name? in my head. Yeah. Voices in my head. Why can't we I'm, do that when Tom's love, here? Well, that's, that's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> that's I never realized how dark that was. <laughs> I, know, I never realized how I didn't like that until Chick liked it. Yeah. And then for some reason, I don't care for it. I know I put it on the album, but I wasn't listening. Oh, That's boy. exactly right. Oh, we, boy. we do have a letter kind of on that. The, the the starting line is, happy no Tom to interrupt you day. How exciting. Yeah. And the subject, I should said first, is I assumed Tom fired Willie from the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't happen, of course no. not. No, it didn't. It no. didn't happen. So everyone stop talking about it, okay? okay? It didn't happen. Well, you know how people fill in the blanks. They have their own narrative. Make up their own story. That's yeah. right. It's I just told him I would only come on the show if I got a fist fight him, and he's afraid to be in my presence because I'll finally win. <laughs> yes. You've, you've reached the age where you can <laughs> successfully beat your dad up. That's you want to go, old man? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the great Santini? Was it? Anyway, here's something from sports. Long Island University and Fairleigh Dickinson found themselves in an uh, interesting situation ahead of their basketball matchup last night. A scenario uh, st- that would lead to a brief delay as the FDU team, that's Fairleigh Dickinson, uh-huh. uh, had to be evacuated from a stuck elevator. Apparently, oh. the locker room, at least the visiting locker rooms on an upper floor or a lower floor, and they have to take the elevator down to the court. <laughs> oh. So uh, I don't know if that's going to be. There is also a stairway, which, by the way, the team took after they were <laughs> stuck in the elevator <laughs> for the tip-off. But they had to be evacuated from a stuck elevator, according to one uh, Knights player, the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. The elevator, we were stuck on there for about 15, 20 minutes. Ugh. It was less than ideal. It was very, very hot, he said. Uh, scenes from the uh, ride went viral. Uh, it's the classic picture where the elevator is like halfway up and the floors. Yeah. And you oh. see the, the the machine parts of the elevator <laughs> and then the, all these uh, basketball team <laughs> players look at... Yeah. It's well, at least a, they... So the door had opened so they could get some air But they did... Uh, get, and he said it was very, very hot, but they did use the uh, stairway after. Oh. And uh, now here's, uh, here's Pat Godwin <laughs> with a song just for this. <laughs> Elevator <laughs> trying to play some basketball. <laughs> I pushed the numbers, but was stuck here waiting. <laughs> the game will be delayed. Bookies won't get paid. Claustrophobia is always something I've hated. <laughs> you know I did. Up and down is how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Notice you're my man. I pushed all the numbers, but we're not moving. Stuck in the dark with just elevator music. Oh. Josh, I've overcome my fear, but I'm scared as hell. Like being stuck down, a wishing well. This is just too real. Oh, I'm feeling all of the feels. <laughs> elevator. We want to play some basketball. <laughs> Get us out of here. <laughs> have you ever been stuck on an elevator? I haven't. Anyone? I, I have not, no. Um, one time, <laughs> I pushed the button that you're not supposed to push, but they let us out. I, I got yelled at a little bit. I was like five. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that emergency button. A damn, fun one. A damn Griswold could punch the button. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of buttons you can't push in this world, and my yeah. goodness, I want to push all Man, of them. I got... Oh, you have you? Yes, and I don't know. And this is that when it started? Here we think? go, bougie me. <laughs> I w- when I was in Paris, please. Last... You were you were skiing to a Nordstrom. No, I please, was, I was some, in... <laughs> some amazing story. I was in a Paris, and I, we had rented the girls and I had rented a like an apartment to you know someone's apartment, yeah. a VRBO, and it had a, in Europe they have tiny little elevators. And if That's... you're thinking of running anything, uh, Josh, in Paris, there's nothing available. You're telling me there's nothing. <laughs> Nothing available. Not one thing. <laughs> not one thing available. Tuscany anyway, either. Okay, yeah. go ahead. But anyway, they're, they're like one-person elevators. They're, mm. And uh, I didn't grab my phone. The girls had been shopping, and they needed to be let in. And I was running down to open the door for them, and it got stuck. Oh, jeez. And I panicked. And I don't speak French, and I'm hitting the button, you know, <laughs> like to call for help. And nothing's happening. Oh, my God. It was the longest two minutes of my life. <laughs> it seemed like an hour. That'd be scary. Don't you guys know that uh, everyone all around the world speaks English as long as you yell it and no. speak it clear? Oh, wow. I yeah. said I am stuck. <laughs> hey, dummy. <laughs> on the elevator. I was screaming. I was petrified.
You know where that works too? At the drive through at the pharmacy I go to, yeah. they only can give you certain medications, but if you yell at them enough, they'll give you Gatorade too. Oh. You just need, yeah, you just need to be really mean to a person. Is that right? <laughs> we'll just bully them. <laughs> I need to tell you people something, and uh, and uh, by you people, I mean here in the studio and those listening. I walked up to Pat Godwin, not... 35 minutes ago and told him about the basketball team being stuck in the elevator. And I said, you know, elevator and, and Jim Croce's operator stuff. And I said, you know, if you just have the guitar ready and just dum, 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 uh, elevator, just do that. It would be hilarious. He wrote an entire flipping song in 25 minutes. Oh, the man's good. Well, I love you. Buddy. He's very good. I'm here for Thank you, you yeah. Pat, very much. Yes, I'm going to make this the Pat Godwin show. You can and have a by God, song I'm going to tell you story. this. I had nothing to do with writing it. How about that? <laughs> Not a thing. I think Pat wrote it himself uh, because there was no mention of sodomy or poop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all take a moment for that and oh. just sit here for a second. A br brief relief from diarrhea songs. Oh, man. Oh. Thank you. Well, wait a minute. I don't think Willie's heard this, and I know you you might miss him a little bit. Here we go. Ick, divine pussy, Jeff. <laughs> That's yeah, a little that, German yeah, for that. Yeah, that happened, Willie. Oh, happened. my gosh. Yeah. You, guys, you guys know, like... Are you going to start sweating? I didn't mean to do that. It's just so odd. It's like, you know when your dad does something embarrassing, and, like, it only goes as far as, like, your cousins watch a video. Right. Sure. That right. happens every day to the country on this show. <laughs> and I have to go, why are we letting him talk still? What's he doing out there? Oh. I have to, well, if you need to, I apologize. Take your headphones off. I got to hear it again. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know what? I've said this many times. It is really something. Here we go. Pick divine pussy, Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, that's your dad. He can't do the German. The German accents, no. he always says something really yeah. bad. I need to be careful when I'm even talking about it because he always goes to, like, crazy cuss words. You won't yes. believe this. When uh, On the air, we started talking uh, to him about him saying that, and then he repeated it, and it was even worse. Yeah. <laughs> it was. That, that one we just played that for you was, was the clean, clean version. version. Oh, no, yes, no, I know. <laughs> you ought to heard this hit second time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Throw a slur in by accident. My goodness. Take it easy, old man. Watch out. Oh, here's something. No one says bows anymore. Maybe you're mom. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I don't know what that means. I, I remember you. So, Pat, thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate you're welcome. that. I am, uh, I am in awe of your talents. Uh, a, a common misconception, you people know this, too, about relationships is that they have to be easy in order to be right. Well, that's not true. Sometimes the best ones, you need to do a little work. That's where therapy comes in. It could be a place to work through challenges that everybody faces in all of our relationships. Friends, work. A significant other or uh, the waitress at lunch. You know, maybe she's giving you the eye. That's where BetterHelp comes in. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's all done online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And I had not done online therapy uh, until a couple years ago. This is really the way to go because the best part is you don't have to get up and get in the car and drive. <laughs> it's right there at your uh, right. computer. Josh, I'm talking no to you. No matter where you are. That's I've right. done it too. Yeah, it's very helpful. <laughs> Become your own soulmate. Spend four weeks alone every month. <laughs> I think uh, every month is probably too much. Uh, whether you're looking for a soulmate or not, spend, become your own soulmate. Go to betterhelp.com slash B-T-S-H-O-W. That's betterhelp.com slash B-T-Show today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash B-T-S-H-O-W. We'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Well, the church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The brimstone gets to that gum hot, it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived right. He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he'd preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the Spirit, so to speak. With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come. I've run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? <laughs> Joe said, well, you can just use the whole dang place. Hey, nine on a jukebox, amazing grace. I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open the night if it's all right with you. 
preacher says, well, I reckon it'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I can do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. When the sinners finish one more round, we'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and pray we don't get killed. The evangelists came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well, said the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills that taught youth Sunday school and two Dickens in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with the Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall, drunk trucker about to puke, had John 316 memorized, trying to dry him out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelists yelled about the lights and the beer, said, White, you can't save any soul in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher says, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. You only saved one sinner. That's Todd McGuire. He's a little son bitch. Set my church on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and it done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. <laughs> They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. I'm trying to think, make sure I don't cuss in here, because usually in a show don't. I do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And and here's always chill. Oh, yeah. And we're here every Sunday. We're living large. We're the only church with a cover charge. And if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, we'll have our bouncer throw your ass out. Of the First Baptist Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. <laughs> Want me to keep jumping, Mr. Pavoyan? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But I'm getting all sweaty. Oh, that's okay. That's why we're doing the soapy shower scene in Act Two. Oh, okay. I can't wait. <laughs> there. So, what do you think? Um, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's not real scary. Does she at least get murdered? No, none of that. Hera <laughs> Knocker Activity is an uplifting movie. It even has a happy ending. Watch! <laughs> oh, uh, she's gonna need another shower. Good idea. Everybody back in the bathroom. <laughs> Set those puppies up and roll film. Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I got thrown out of J.C. Penney's the other day. Really? 
Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> you believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. Comedian Bobcat Goldthwait is here with us. I like goofy movies. Huh? I didn't see Phantom Menace or the uh, Attack of the Clones mm -hmm. because uh, I'm 40 years old and I've been... <laughs> so, Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings, you know, none of that stuff, really. But, like a jerk, I went to the Star Wars re-release. Have any of you nerds ever seen a <laughs> <laughs> Could you pick a <laughs> out of a police lineup? <laughs> if I had a <laughs> and a donut and a mop, could you tell me the difference between these things? Because the day you actually see one, you're going to throw that stormtrooper cookie jar right out the window. You're going to go, what was I thinking about? I, go, I don't know. We've been trying to tell you about it for years. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom taking a couple days off. The, uh, the, uh... Goofballs are running the assignment uh, asylum. There's uh, Christy Lee and Pat Godwin. Willie Griswold joins us. Good morning. Woo! There he is. There's uh, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby. I'm Chick. Uh, uh, let's see. Jeff Oskay will be here in a moment. And for those wondering, Tom's out actually having fun, enjoying himself. Yes. Yeah. He, well, we, finally... that, we think he is. Yeah. 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 Well, he, mm -hmm. that's the idea. He actually, he. It's such a nice weekend for him. A professor is letting him fail several of his students. So he just gets to go into the <laughs> office, <laughs> right? Big. He's having the oh, time he, of his life. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna have a ball. Man, oh man. F. It's an interesting take uh, from his. <laughs> it's like also... Holdover's fantasy camp. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he, just... he would love that. Oh, yes. It's circ... 1972. <laughs> He's circling a semicolon, writing question mark, question mark, with a with smile her. on his face. Uh, comma splice, Mr. McKeon. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Hahn will be by this morning. Yay! And we'll talk about that. But the NBA All-Star Game is in full swing in Indianapolis, Indiana. We understand there's also a uh, mm. a snowstorm heading for Indianapolis, Winter Indiana. Winter weather advisory, two to four inches. Uh, in about five hours uh, mm -hmm. for uh, much of uh, central Indiana. So uh, hopefully uh, everyone in town for the NBA All-Star Game will be able to negotiate that. Uh, Hope they brought their galoshes. <laughs> uh, they're going to have the Rising Stars, the Panini... Oh, I love those. Rising Stars practice at Gainbridge Fieldhouse, where the Pacers play, at 11.30 this morning. Panini is a trading card company. I know this because they are at the NFL Experience, where oh. Noah and I went last week. Yeah. And I walked there trying to get a sandwich, and they said, we are a card company. Oh, how oh, disappointing. That is a, I know. That's so sad. I thought I this know. was all card company stuff, and uh, because the Panini uh, is also sponsoring Rising Stars at Gainbridge tonight at 9 o'clock. You can watch that on TNT. Nice. But Panini. I want a sandwich. I do too. Now I'm ready for a ham and cheese. Uh, oh, I like the pesto, pesto yeah. and mm. some... Do you think the, one of those card companies is selling the card that has the Menendez, Menendez Brothers <laughs> <laughs> sitting courtside? It's Mark Jackson's card. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's my former Sure uh, Pacer, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Mark Jackson's card. I love those cards that are famous for the wrong reason. <laughs> right, right. I, there's, a, there's a baseball card, and there's something written on the it's bottom. One of the, Billy uh, Ripken. Yes. It's one of the Ripkins, yeah. 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 So they fun. wrote it on the end F of the bat. Yeah. Is that what yeah. it says? F-Face. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's got My brother Jeff got it when he, he was opening a pack. Are you and kidding? And he got it, and we lost our minds, because we'd read about it in Bowman or whatever. Right. The, yeah, the, yeah. Or Beckett. Whatever the uh, be baseball card magazine was. Did he? Does he still have it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. It, 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 might, wow. the, it may be at my brother Joe's now, but that's all. It's got to be wow. worth a big box, right? I think my brother's sitting on thousands of dollars worth of baseball cards. Did you see that Serena Williams' husband, who I can't remember, Ace will know who it is. I'm not sure who it is. Will Smith. Uh, he <laughs> is he's a technology dude. He, yeah, he's collecting all of Serena Williams' uh, trading cards. And I didn't even know tennis had yeah. trading cards. What? But wow. He's, I didn't either. He's, uh, who is it, Ace? Alex, I don't know. It's Al, uh, Alexis Ohanan, maybe? Oh, he doesn't sound American. My point <laughs> is... <laughs> Overseas. But she said uh, it sounded. It made me feel a little weird at first. But uh, yeah, I got so because one of them is worth uh, her uh, rookie card, if you will, in tennis. It's one hundred and twelve thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! How yeah. many people? 
collect tennis trading cards. I don't know. <laughs> I like to think that she refuses to autograph her husband's <laughs> <laughs> cards. Of her. But I drove you to the airport, honey. Come on. <laughs> but tell it to the card. Those are just going to end up on eBay. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Given the scenario that they might be arguing, yeah. Yeah. and her looking at him and going, tell it to the card, that deserved a lot more than that. <laughs> it did, Chick. I, tell I it was, to the card! I was already formulating my joke, and, and it was disrespectful to yours. Mm -hmm. So, yes. It's very self-centered. I like what this I'm sweet show. This is mm -hmm. nice. Honestly, yeah, I can't believe nice. it. I've been gone for six months, and Josh is still publicly wronging Chick on air. <laughs> I mean, how what the hell's wrong with you? I didn't correct him for saying that the NBA All-Star game was in full swing using a baseball metaphor for a basketball game. My goodness. You know what? Chick still needs to be checked. <laughs> I can't believe. What would you have said? In full court? Uh, how about crazier than a football bat? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love football bat. <laughs> yes. That's, it's actually... I know, yeah. Oh, I, I know what it actually is. Yeah. Gotcha. What is it? It's, it's, it's queerer than a football bat. Hey! Oh, that's a saying? Uh, uh, it is. Wow. <laughs> it is. It's I'm one of those sorry, folks he said. It is that. a level of queerness. I've never heard Boy, that. he's football bat queer. You want to be a guy or not? Oh, we can teach Christy how to be a guy in five easy steps. I thought yeah. I already was. I've well, been here for 37 no, years. You, well, the, that last marriage, you're kind of, you pushed out. <laughs> 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 no, really? No, no. It seems to me like that was the... Never mind. <laughs> Where is my next? Do I have my next? <laughs> my next back up there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Panini, Rising Stars, which is a trading card company. Yeah, it should be a, a be sandwich press. Yeah. Uh, yes. 9 o'clock tonight, Eastern. Uh, 7 o'clock at Lucas Oil on the TV. It's the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game, like Ace was saying. Tomorrow... And you watch it on ESPN. Nice. You can watch it on ESPN? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Do you have ESPN at your house? I do. <laughs> you do? Do you have a Wi-Fi? I have Wi -Fi? ESPN, too. I have ESPN+. Plus. I have oh, well, he's got all the ESPN. <laughs> bragging. He's got an aristocrat here. <laughs> do you have Wi-Fi? No. <laughs> Next. <laughs> then tomorrow, uh, they're going to practice at GameBridge, NBA All-Star Practice, presented by AT and T, 11 uh, <laughs> Eastern Time. Uh, then the HBCU Classic presented by AT&T on NBA TV, TNT, ESPN2 at Cambridge at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Winston-Salem State versus Virginia Union. That would be a great game. Actually. Is there an old-timers game? Uh, there is... Some of the older players are playing in the celebrity game. Oh, oh, oh okay, game. cool. <laughs> uh, it's called the No Cartilage Game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's, here's where you go back to your hotel and, uh, and catch a quick nap. 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Adam Silver, the commissioner, will have a news conference. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> like watching a Martian speak. It would be fun if so you... So on my home... Pla I mean, back at the office, I, <laughs> I am Adam Silver. Are there Adam Silver fans? Are there just guys that just love the commission? Silver, silver, silver. <laughs> Probably gotta be. in this world. Then tomorrow night, the big event at Lucas Oil on the TV screen that mm. they put together. State Farm's All-Star Saturday Night. The Kia Skills Challenge, the Starry Three Point Contest, which is uh, Sabrina Ionescu and uh, Steph Curry going he head to head. No the best kidding. Three pointer in the WNBA. That'd be fun. And, and Steph, of course. Uh, Steph, Sabrina Three Point Challenge, uh, and the 18th. Uh, that's the slam dunk tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, at uh, that all at Lucas Oil. Then Sunday night, 8 o'clock, it's the All Star Game on TNT. We're hurting Jack Shoot at uh, <laughs> Cambridge, Cambridge Field House. It's a big, uh, it's a big weekend. Big weekend. Big weekend. And snow on the way, so be careful. Yeah, but it'll be sunny this weekend after That's the snow, right. so That's right. it'll come and go. What's so coming up on your newscast, Christy? Oh, I found out. I did find out what's uh, coming up. Oh, that, that's exciting. <laughs> yes. All right. uh, we have quite a few things. We have a lot of scents in the news, as in... You not, mean... Oh, smells. Yes. Odors? Yes. Is odor negative and scent is positive? I like I think I, so. It kind of is, yeah. Odor, yeah. negative, aroma, positive. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. We have... What about stink? Negative. That is mostly negative. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it can be good. Like a Stank can be good. That's a good stank. Some of these are stanky, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then also, <laughs> I'm not going to, if you have, uh, um, if you're a workout person and you use one of those um, My Fitness Pal deals. Oh, yeah, boy, am I. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got some news for you about that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to tell you the word bathroom is in it, so um, I should probably save this till yeah, Tom gets save home. Till but we can revisit it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I guarantee you we probably will. <laughs> there you go. We'll be right back. Uh, Jeff Hoskey coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Welcome to the wildly successful Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh-huh. Uh, I just want to say, uh, first of all, I really love your show. Really enjoy listening to it. I think you do a great job. Well, kind words indeed. And thank you, caller, for calling the Mr. Uh, Obvious Show. No, Mr. Obvious? Yes. Uh, here's my problem. Oh, Okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I think I got some kind of animal uh, trapped in my house. Oh, yeah, like a pest problem or something? Yeah, uh, uh-huh. well, it's, it's even bigger than that. Uh, I think it's some kind of critter that's trapped down uh, underneath my sink somewhere. Oh, my. Now, do you live in a rural section of town? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, uh-huh. I live on the outskirts of town here. And, uh, well, here's the thing. I think it's caught underneath my sink, and I've opened the doors and, and my cabinets there and looked underneath, and I can't find it anywhere. But I can hear him down there making noise. Oh, you say you got a critter and you can hear him. Now, what what yep. kind of sound does he make, caller? Um, well, it's kind of a growling, kind of a... Uh, well, I'll try to imitate it for you. It's kind of like... Uh huh. Now, this is under your sink in your kitchen. Yeah, uh, I mean, it sounds like you might be caught down there in the pipes. <laughs> now, this is not uncommon for your uh, rurally located homes to have a raccoon or a possum uh, under the house. Now, but you say he might be stuck in the pipes? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Because, uh, in fact, I think that's how he's living there. Uh, he seems to eat stuff that my wife throws away down the sink after dinner. She'll, <laughs> she'll wash the leftovers down the sink uh, after we get done eating. I think that's what he's eating because I can hear him down there growling and uh, chewing. Huh. What was the sound again, caller? Well, it's uh, she'll put the stuff down there in the sink and run the water, and then uh, you can hear him kind of going... <laughs> Like huh. Now, is there anything else that corresponds with the uh, the growling that your wife does there in the kitchen? Huh. Um, well, it, it does seem like uh, it usually happens whenever she tries to turn the light on. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a light switch there. She'll try to turn it on. Uh-huh. Uh, thing is, the light don't come on. Um, huh. I, I, I think the light bulb must be burnt out or something, but I can't even find a place to change the light bulb on it. <laughs> anyway, she'll try to turn that light switch on and... Uh, you can hear him down there just um, seem to make him mad as anything. <laughs> uh, this is in the kitchen under the sink, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I, I figure he's caught in the pipes. <laughs> right. So I figured I'd try to get him out of there. Uh-huh. Well, I reached down there with my hands when I heard him growling. Uh-huh. And I mean, that thing about ripped my fingers off. Bit into me. Boy, it hurt. Well, I think I know what your problem is, caller. It's, uh, it's a garbage disposal. So, uh... Uh, is that uh, something something like a raccoon? No, caller. It's uh. No, it's something something littler, like a uh, like a mouse. <laughs> no, caller. It's a machine that's hooked to your uh, your drain pipe there under your sink that chews up uh, uh, food that uh, makes it rinse right down the pipe there. It's an actual machine. It's not an animal at all. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I never made the connection. <laughs> get rid of the garbage. There you go. Sounds like a critter. Just, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I know, yeah, it's not a critter. It's a, thanks for calling, though, caller. Mr. Obvious? Yes. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, that'll do it for this week's show. Uh, thank you, and uh, good luck uh, from everyone here on the Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>
There's probably in Tennessee that says, fool me once. <laughs> shame on, shame on you. <laughs> you fool me, you can't get fooled again. Oblivious. <laughs> Oblivious perfume is available at fine retail outlets everywhere. In fact, it's probably right in front of you and you didn't even notice. <laughs> Oblivious. You know, it'll take time to restore chaos, but we will. Oblivious. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> they put the F in professional. Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what, be oh, oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that, are you kidding? I, yeah, no. <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're <laughs> Also joining us uh, in the studio, comedian John Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I, I find that now that I, I need a woman, I mean, uh, uh, integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, mm. but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the uh -huh. Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're going to spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. Morning laughter. <laughs> just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> 20 sent you. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom taking a couple days off, and boy, oh boy, do we have a guest for you. Yeah. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Oh, thank you. There's... I'm here every day, though. I'm not a guest. Oh, that's true. There's uh, Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Willie Griswold. Hey, buddy. <laughs> See, he's here. He's in the studio. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. The Ace Cosby joke of the day. Have you taken a day off? I'm, uh... <laughs> Kidding, of course, I know. I'm Chick McGee, and our guest, sitting in Tom's chair, I've never seen anybody with a bigger smile on their face, it's Jeff Oske. Lording over all of you. Yes. Do you feel higher up? Because you are oh, on Oh, yeah, I'm looking down on all of you. Oh, yeah. Forget that. Last week, I talked to my therapist about that. Oh, How really? Fun. Yeah, I go, he's literally on a stage every day. He is. Yeah, yeah, I'll deal with that. I'm surprised it took him this long to move over there. Yeah, it, it did. It did it, for a while. He was where, Yeah, he was in that For it only being a four-inch lift, I seriously feel two feet above all of you. Uh, yeah, you do. Uh, I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you shave your beard all all the way off, pretty much? Uh, the week before Christmas. Oh, I thought it was her mama. More recent than that, uh, yeah. He he was actually uh, clean shaven there for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd you look like a cop? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked bad. You got a real. Do you know how fast bad. you were driving? Vibe to you, uh, Christy. You don't read the Facebook comments. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you okay. have to, don't you? Yeah, I don't have to, but I love being punished. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I read the Facebook comments. Actually, so, yeah. I ran into Jeff at the grocery store yeah. right after he shaved, and honest to God, didn't know who he was. No, I believe that. I, I absolutely like, believe oh, that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite striking. Not yeah. that it was bad. I feel better different. now. I, I like covering up a little. I feel good. But Maggie likes it like that, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. All. She goes, do not shave all the way off again. Okay. And then that's when you're like, oh, well, I am ugly. Oh, <laughs> oh. <yeah. laughs> So it's not me, it's the beard. Yeah, you, no. I, I'm very toothy, and I hide a lot of it with beard. And when it's gone, it's all tooth. Really? I did not yeah. know I didn't you know were that. toothy. Did I, you know? I didn't. Yeah. No. I Wish had you no idea. Told me, I won't be able to focus on anything else now. So. And I really didn't notice it when you were clean shaven that you were toothy. Uh, the guy who called me Bucky the Bucker uh, <laughs> sure did. <laughs> He, you know, that's that's just a Tomism. He wasn't being mean. He was just... <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Tom does use the term buckers. Yeah, oh, he yeah. does. Bucker and buckers. No, I, I, yeah. I, no I'm on some wood. Yeah, no, I got some beavers going. Christy, what's going on, on the, over there Are at the news desk? Are you done over there? Yeah, all the sports is uh, happening and out of here, baby. That's oh, right. Oh, damn. I know. All right. <laughs> well, what do we have? Maybe we'll revisit. What? You don't know. Go okay. ahead. Uh, a scented candle company is offering over 30 unusual candles, ranging from gasoline... To <laughs> sweet, sweet... Well, <laughs> I don't see it on here, but um, the, it's gasoline to flagellants. Flagellants? The sticky, oh, sticky. That would be a totally different candle company. <laughs> sticky, <laughs> icky, icky. Oh. Are you into the hot wax play? I've never done it, and hot I can tell wax you no. Play? What the hell is this going on over there? With well, you, you know, you light a candle, candle, you drip, drip it drip over the box. Yeah, yeah, but did you see how she asked you? She's into it. Did I'm you not see into, her? I'm not into I, it. You're lying. I am Josh. not I know lying. you pretty Wait, well. No, let's have, have you tried it? No. Yeah, no, I, I uh, have done it to somebody else. No, I have too. And they really liked it. Yeah. Oscar, okay, you're. Say that. Are you too hairy for hot wax play? That's what I was gonna say. You definitely want a shaven, like clean shaven person for yeah. wax play. Because right. if not, you're going to be. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like oh no, it's a miserable. Ripping it's, hair. You off. might as well just rub bubble gum all over yeah. your chest. <laughs> Actually, it's the Stinky Candle Company. It made headlines earlier this month with its Hippo Love Candle. Oh, that's right. The Hippo Poop Scented Candle. Remember, in collaboration with the San Antonio Zoo. Ugh. Well, the company's product line. <laughs> Also offers a wide range of non-traditional scents, inclu scents including chlorine. Oh, do you guys like the smell of chlorine? I don't. I, I, I yeah. do. Yeah, I, I kind of yeah. do. It's clean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I like it in its place. You know, oh, like yeah, you're outside and pool. you're on, on your way to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's chlorine. I don't like it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna take a shower. Hotel but. lobby yes. type that's smell. That's exactly it's what I was gonna bad. say. They also have a candle that smells like farts. <laughs> just, I like farts. it. Just general farts. Yeah, farts. 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 General farts. farts. He's in the general. army. <laughs> <laughs> I am general farts. General farts. But every fart has a unique scent, doesn't it? Mm. Sure, it's like snowflakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe it's one of those changing candles. You know how, like, yeah. you get the ones oh, that are like yeah. vanilla, then strawberry. Right. Maybe it's like Brussels sprouts <laughs> and then cheese. beer. Oh, yeah, oh, cheese. No. You work your way through all the farts. Speaking of beer, there is a beer scented candle. There's body odor. Body odor. Gasoline. I do car like the, exhaust. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you do like the smell of gasoline. I do. Too, yeah. yeah. Man, it's you good. are just, uh, how do I put this in a construction? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It gets worse. Yes. Rotting flesh. I mean, that's insanity. It's for freaks. Who would who would want it's that? It's for serial killers. Yeah. Hey, I smell rotting flesh. It's just my candle. Yeah. <laughs> Not the crawl space. Oh. I don't need to look there. Uh. I have a new line of uh, natural gas smelling candles. Yeah. That I'm releasing to people. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll see how they go. I'm releasing uh, carbon monoxide candles. People don't like them. Oh. Just... <laughs> Not one review. No. <laughs> no they, they get a little sleepy. Isn't they? Oh, okay. We also have the urine candle. Come on with that. <laughs> well, that, and do they have urine with asparagus candle? I mean, oh yes. Good point, because depending on what you've eaten or had right. to drink. For me, it's not just asparagus. Coffee, I can, yes. I can, get, I get notes of coffee every now and again, and I popcorn, I get notes of. I get a weird thing with uh, depending on how much uh, faux sweetener I've had. Really, I'll get, uh, I'll get an interesting odor. Hmm. Does it smell like soda or? No, it smells like. Uh, a dozen roses on uh, a trailer full of uh, fertilizer. Isn't that something? Isn't that That's something? Good. I'd buy that candle. <laughs> and last but not least in this horrible scented candle, vomit. Vomit is a terrible smell. How is that not a show? I'd buy that candle. Tonight on I'd Buy That Candle. Nobody, who buys these? Really? Freaks Seriously? The jokes, um, I guess, huh? Yeah. Burritos on the list. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, See, there are pleasant again. sounding candles. Yeah, like burrito. There should be a law. There ought to be a law where <laughs> whatever you're smelling, it has to be like a burrito. You're either having you you're having a burrito. That's the only way you can smell a burrito. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. Otherwise, and chlorine. The only way you can smell chlorine is if you're in a pool. Otherwise, those scents are outlawed. Is what you're saying. Right. You can't have them artificially manufactured. What if I go to a Mexican restaurant and I don't have a burrito? Can I still smell the burrito, or should I be charged for it as well? Since by smelling it, I'm enjoying the burrito. <laughs> Answer the man. <laughs> I can't decide, but I'll get back to you. All right, thank you very much. Because Jimmy John's and that free smells policy has pissed me off for years. Oh, yeah, they do have fresh smells. Leaving money on the table with that. But it's most, mostly bread, right? <laughs>
<laughs> my, my, my mouth started to water yes. Jimmy John's bread. <laughs> it is very They're real good. strict about that free smells at Jimmy John's. Really? Apparently, it does not include women diner's hair. No, oh, really? <laughs> You're not supposed to sniff Glad their hair. Glad you said hair. Oh, That's why Biden needs a subway. <laughs> walk over to some lady, smell her hair, and then point at the sign. Free smells, and then lady. walk out. They get really mad at you, because especially when you spill your Powerade on them by accident. They yell at you. <laughs> Other pleasant Are sounding you drunk candles. In the Jimmy John's? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm hungover. At Jimmy okay. John's. All right. Other pleasant sounding candles include apple pie. Oh, nice. bubble gum. Mm. Grandpa's aftershave. Ew. Oh, was there sure. only one? <laughs> <laughs> what? <Old> spice. <laughs> was it? Yeah, Bob, I think it, so. Yeah. Didn't we do a bit that was a fake TV bit show that was Grandpa's shotgun or something? <laughs> 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 I'm remembering it's that. It's in the white trash noise machine. Yes. 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 My grandpa had an aftershave. Um, maybe you guys remember this. I, I don't know what it was, but it was in it was in a, a, a decanter that was shaped like a car. Oh, and Avon was, uh, used to do that yeah. all the time. Well, that, yeah, Avon. Oh, okay. uh -huh. I, had Avon. The, I had the uh, cleat. The cleat? Yeah, they, they uh, would have a, all kinds of different cleats. You decanters. mean like a football shoe? Yeah. yeah. Huh. They so had a football he, shoe and they had they had uh, cologne in it. So this yeah. was not a brand that was sold in those. He put his own brand into the. No, Avon, the company Avon Ladies, yeah. that would come to your house. It had a scent. Oh, in okay, it. all right. I don't recall what it was. It but wasn't they would, bad. They would have decanters all the time with men's cologne in it or aftershave gotcha. or whatever. Yeah. Huh. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was an Avon lady once. You were? <laughs> I had the little Is that suitcase right? with Avon the little, calling. little lipstick samples. You did? Oh, I did. I had an ex-wife oh that uh, we went about 5000 into debt selling Mary Kay. Oh, and yeah. I still have <laughs> half a All right, Jeff. All years ago. Never got the pink Cadillac? No. <laughs> no. We didn't even get a pink Hot Wheel. Like. <laughs> uh, we'll wrap this up with buttered popcorn, mm. chocolate cake batter. Clean puppy. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Me either. A number two pencil. Ah. And last no. but not least, one of their pleasant sounding candles, money. I'm would, sorry, but all of these, all of these, they would be outlawed in my America, and you couldn't <laughs> smell them unless you were going through the process that required the odor to be manufactured, not a candle. <laughs> they should have a candle that smells like a new baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure new they baby. do. Yeah. You like new baby? Oh, new baby. dude. Oh, not the scalp of a baby. baby. Just awesome. <laughs> baby scalp should be a candle. Want to make your boyfriend run away? Try the new baby candle. <laughs> yeah. A new baby. I love that smell. Uh, you know, I. Sensor coming up in the news again, too. So don't. Oh, if you didn't more think, smells? More smells. Boy, it's just getting me going. I don't. Yeah, yeah I, did, I had no idea you were so anti smell No, I'm anti smell if, 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 It's just everybody's lying to me. Will a smell turn you on or off? <laughs> I smell chlorine. Well, I, you know, I smell. I think people have certain smells, Sports and I smell is, that. I don't know what's real. <laughs> 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 oh, I, th I thought we were going to go swimming, but apparently it's a candle. Okay. Oh, you have pool and, a, and popcorn? Yeah, well, no, 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 neither. Candles. candles. Gotcha. <laughs> Rage against the machine starts playing. Gotcha the phone booth. <laughs> uh, hey, is it time to put those Raycon earbuds in? You sure? It sure is with the optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made from Raycon. They're comfortable. They actually stay in your ears. They don't fall out on the ground. You're not crawling around looking for your earbud. <laughs> And, of course, Raycons are uh, eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and you get amazing quality audio at around half the price of other premium audio brands. Buy a pair for your significant other and buy a pair for yourself. It's so easy. And don't forget awesome features from Raycon like noise isolation and three customizable sound profiles. And we do get love letters all the time from Bob and Tom listeners about the Raycons, and it's no wonder because Raycon's everyday earbuds do have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. So go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today to get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. More smells in the news coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, if you miss any part of today's show, we replay the show later today, beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll replay today's show back to back to back to back. We call it Bob and Tom.
I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh, now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? or uh, <laughs> Tom. 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 Sorry. It? <laughs> Looks like Jim and the twins are pretty cozy this morning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it never hurts to advertise. Yeah, right? I guess it does. Oh, my God. Thank you very much, sir. He's smuggling <laughs> topsoil for an offshore development project. Well, yeah, I, I always end well, a White Castle. Really? Yeah. I was, uh, God, I was so drunk, I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Help me. Hey, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. And Andy Moore for uh, 27. 27. Andy Moore for. Electrifying deals at Andy Moore Ford. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clint. A any number. Eight. Eight? Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. They have body a shop. <laughs> they have a body shop. And Andy Moore Ford. Ford. Any other number? Go ahead. Pick one more. Nineteen. That's... Ah! That's our manager screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find Where is that? at Andy Moore Ford. This is the Bob and Tom it's show on, this morning. Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, I wish I was here. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off for publicity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. Yikes. I, I knew you'd have I know how to make it in show That's business. That's what I said. <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he pee? Yeah. Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true, Clint. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Ooh. Sorry I asked. Hard copy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this is exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold? Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things. Now, all the airlines share the same dog yeah, farm. Yeah, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, we need a Shih Tzu. Uh, uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, yeah, we need a sh Shih Tzu uh, gate C27. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring us that and, number eight. Uh, another, another newfie uh, coming, in, uh, coming in on United. Try to take care of that. Yeah, he's you? stiffer in a board. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm -hmm. so, that was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing. Drive your dog. Jeez. Warning folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. How can you change a dinosaur's name? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. halfway through. You know halfway through. <laughs> do you know what the smallest dinosaur was? Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> a little red, <laughs> pinkish. Time. Well, congratulations. Wow. You I finally got it, got it on finally the air. Have done yeah. it, haven't you? Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? Little Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? Is that it? <laughs> See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss, but apparently. <laughs>
Every other block, we got a fast food drive through restaurant with some idiot pulling out with a 16-ounce Coke squeezed in between his legs, <laughs> a Big Mac sandwich in his fingertips, steering with his wrist, an order of fries wedged between this leg and the console, eating, drinking, slurping, steering with the other knee, and that's perfectly okay if this guy buckles up. <laughs> And until you see a man pour a piping hot cup of coffee in his crotch at 40 miles an hour, you have no idea the maneuverability of an automobile. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Tom taking a couple days off. <laughs> Look at this guy who's coming into the studio. What the hell? Is it? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Are you lost? Hang on. Put your... Do you... Speaking of smells, yeah. we'll get back to Christian's candle Man. smells here in a minute. That's I, a stinky smell. I smell uh, 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 plumber's helper <laughs> with duty on the end of it. What is that? No, no, I, I believe uh, a Tom Griswold uh, just entered uh, is, is what happened there. Is that right? Two cups, uh, limping uh, oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah. Yeah. the Columbia hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the there Columbia hat. Oh, look at this. He's Don't really got the sugar, sugar pack. Yeah, you got to have the sugar pack. Wait a minute. I recognize you. Aren't you Ed Septic? <laughs> No, he's, he is not doing that bit. He's, no, he's not doing that bit. <laughs> is that my old man? Are you shaking sugar packets yet? Oh, no, I forgot. Ah, oh, so close it. to having a winner. I can't believe there's some over there. There's got to be some over there. I do like that shirt, though. Dang, That's a good-looking shirt. Good you should take shirt. that home with you. He'll never know. Is that straight from Tom's office? Uh, actually, it's straight from my closet uh, because Tom gave me, like, 20 shirts because oh. he just thinks I'm poor. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Well, You're the new poor guy. Yeah, yeah, I get all Pat sold shirts. Uh -huh. It's not a real Tom impression because when I walked in before not seeing me in a long time, you didn't shake my hand. Oh. <laughs> I'm say, sorry, buddy. You are. Oh, you are. Do you, you want can't, a hug? You can't blame me for uh, thinking you're septic, though, right? Is no. It, that's not my fault. No. Is no, that my fault? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't me out. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about smells and candles when we left. Is that right? Yeah, the Stinky Candle Company has a bunch of. Do you remember the sneak, the stinkiest candle uh, candle of all time? What is? Uh, it's got to be Gwyneth Paltrow's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah the vagina candle. candle yeah. yeah. It didn't smell bad. Remember, we had one in here. It was uh, this candle smells like my vagina? Right. And it wasn't awful. In well. fact, it was quite nice. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Nice and clean. Very. Huh. Don't you have a song about this, Pat? Yeah, hey, spring the piano up. We'll do a little something. Full intro, because Tom's not here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, Goodbye, no. Gwyneth P. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, look, no, you know what? You're going to get the full intro again. <laughs> yeah, he got right into his flow state. Next. Here we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Gwyneth P. We liked you in Shakespeare in love. Now you've managed to ruin the beauty we were so fond of. <laughs> Tell John. <laughs> because you started Goop. Your stupid little magazine. You sell a candle with the aroma of coochie steamed. <laughs> oh. oh, it smells to me like a sardine-scented candle of breaking wind. Oh. Look up in the sky and see the seagulls circling. <laughs> oh, you know I even bought one. Oh, and there it sits. Your candle burned out days ago and still smells like Brad Pitt. <laughs> it kind of fizzled out there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, my rule is uh, candle. You can't have fake smells in candles. All right. They can be like All lavender right. and things like that and lilac, but you can't have. Oh, hey, this is exciting. We're going to have hot dogs and burritos and a pool party. Nope, no. all candles. All candles. <laughs> yeah, you come into the house, you're like, oh, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Nope. Uh, candle. Candle. Do you oh. walk in? Walk into a ballpark, and you get that nice little ballpark smell, and they go, no, there's no ballpark hot dogs today. No. We're just giving away hot dog candles. Oh. No good. Burn it down to the ground. Yeah, you're allowed to. You're allowed <laughs> to set to uh, Burn it down. Fire. Use the baseball bats as kindling and get rid of that place. Okay. So it would be fun to watch the hot dog seller wing candles at people <laughs> throughout. The I got that. Yeah. Ooh. Now, you're a big candle guy, aren't I you? I do. I love them. 
Do you I have do one too, yeah. all the time on on lit? Uh, usually for a little bit during the day, yeah. But actually, it's fireplace season, so I've been letting that smell be. Ah. The, uh, ah. Yeah. So I is... never open my flu. In fact, I just, yeah. uh, I just <laughs> what that smell throughout the whole. Is that right? Right? Yeah. Just my like, eyes are constantly burning. This is an embarrassing thing that I said, and I'm worried how I'm aging as I turn 30. The other day, I picked up a candle. I go, oh my goodness. This is an autumn candle. I better light this. It's almost spring. <laughs> yeah. Like, I How thought your, that I was being crazy. <laughs> How is Tom, your dad, with candles? They're not safe, right? He hates, he, they're not allowed. He hates candles. Well, things are different now. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I was going to say. You weren't allowed to have candles growing up. I mean, I, I grew up having, there was a, what do you, how do you put a fire out? I feel so dumb. A snuffer? Fire extinguisher? Uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, bucket the, of water. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, but in our rooms, we all have little tiny fire extinguishers. Are you serious? Yeah, cooking oh, bacon yeah. in the safety glasses. Yeah, it's all Yeah, really but easy. he's a fire nut. He loves pyro stuff. He does like fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which but is kind of ironic. That's anymore. why he had his kids so well protected, because he didn't know when he would just <laughs> let it fly. <laughs> So Let the is, beast take over. What is the scent of the day in your house? See, Willie, I, I am autumn all year. Oh. I buy, in the fall, I buy a ton of pumpkin candles, and then I, they're, they're all oh. year. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Buddy, yeah. me too. I love it. It's yeah. the greatest. Give me an apple cider candle. Yeah, yeah. Give me oh, a yeah. pumpkin candle. Just give me huh. one that just says fall or autumn. I like, the, uh, I like the rose candle. Not I, bad, man. I always have rose yeah. candles out. For a while there, Tommy was lighting rose candles yeah, every morning. I like morning. the rose. I like Are the they rose. pink? No, they're, well, I guess they are kind of a thing. Sure. Yeah. Sandalwood. Sandalwood's quite oh, nice, good. too. I like sage. Sage and citrus. Our Noah makes a fine candle. He yes, does. He does. I, yeah. I've already gone right through the, yeah. the one that I he have did. All, I had three Real of them. Really I love good. them. Why, you gave me one. No. You could have taken three. They were on a table. could have took a bunch of them. Uh, Did you say Aaron I Noah makes a good candle? Our Noah. Our, our video. Oh, our Noah. Oh, okay. It was our Christmas gift. Remember? I like the uh, the clean sheets, the clean linens candle. That's very yeah, nice. That's good yeah. And it makes me, I'm not doing any laundry over here, but it smells delicious. Clean linen is great. Yeah. It smells nice. Uh, I have one that's a bourbon. Well, you are. No, no, a no. That's your. <laughs> no, that's, if you leave it out on the table at night, <laughs> yeah, put, no, the, put the top back on. Yeah. I mean, it's really. It says it's a bourbon smell, but it's very nice. Well, it's, of course, it's, yeah. it stops got, the shakes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, whatever. Don't you? <laughs> I got a bourbon body wash, and I was very excited about it. I thought it would be like a nice leathery scent, and I would wear it, and I just smelled like I was drunk constantly. Really? I would. Well, dude, did you drink before class today? No, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to be cultured and cool. I'll never do this again. <laughs> I promise. All right, let's keep with our scent uh, theme. New research indicates smelling certain scents could help in the recovery from depression. Really? <laughs> Neuroscience researcher Dr. Kimberly Young presented study participants with a series of opaque glass vials containing potent familiar scents from oranges and ground coffee to shoe polish and even Vicks VapoRub. Participants were then asked to smell the vials and recall a specific memory, no matter good or bad. Young discovered memory recall was stronger, more vivid, and more specific in depressed individuals who received odor cues as opposed to word cues. Mm. She added her results also showed participants were more likely to remember positive events. I've always heard that odor cues are the most, the strongest memory starters, if you will, than, than, than anything. They take That's you right I back. Thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I believe but that. But I, I like that it's mostly positive. Yes. She hopes that scents could one day be used in the clinical setting to help depressed individuals get out of the negative thought cycles and rewire their thought patterns. Hmm. So maybe the smell of uh, freshly cut grass really uh, yeah. brightens people's day. They, oh, I had a terrific summer when I was. Or maybe the yeah, smell. Yeah, my dad of, uh, made me mow the yard every damn Saturday. Maybe the <laughs> smell. Now you've, turned, now you've done what you normally do and turned it into something ugly and That's negative. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe the smell of a handgun in a car trunk. Oh. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> that could she be beat me to it is what happened. <laughs> positive there, to some. Is there a smell that is a positive smell from your childhood? Nope. Not a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There had to have been something. There had to be something. Nope. All, all the smells from my childhood make me flinch. <laughs> Is everybody having a nice laugh? Yes. Are they? Are they? Are they? Chalk, Smell of a paddle. <laughs> laugh it up. I don't know about you, Pat. Uh, my depression has always helped with the smell of money. Money Whenever I smell all. money, man. man, it gets money. me right out of that depression. <laughs> money, money, money. Money. Yeah. Okay. Money truly can buy happiness, can't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I don't know. I know. At least temporarily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had too much money, then it goes right back down. Then it goes right back. I but totally I, disagree. Uh, <laughs> I want to know what that feels like. Because too much money, that's when the people get involved, Josh. And that's when you lose yeah. happiness. Oh, you I see. You're you're publicly exactly. swimming in it. Exactly. So, okay. You just need enough to like buy an eighth and NBA Street 2, and then you're chilling. <laughs> Uh, is this need? is an email from William. He says, I bought a hippo poop candle yes. for my wife. Oh. Uh, it does smell both accurate and dreadful. Oh, oh no. That's from, uh, yeah, William. So there you go. All I wonder right. how she took that. I don't know. She had a great Valentine's. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like something you... Would you buy a hippo candle for somebody, Ace? I bet you would. No, I wouldn't. I hate gag gifts. Oh, really? You're you're willing to spend thirty dollars to be mean to me? Get out of town. <laughs> I get out of. Be nice. Give me an Amazon gift card, then I can buy NBA Street Two. I hate this. <laughs> you want me to buy you NBA Street Two? <laughs> yeah. Somebody game. has to. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> to do it. It's a fun game. I play with Yao Ming, Reggie Miller, Jermaine O'Neal, Bomb Squad. Can't Whoa. beat those fellas. Bomb Squad, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with Reggie. That's for sure. Uh, a Delta Airlines flight was forced to turn around after maggots rained down on a passenger. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I thought it was like a kid was making trouble. I got to turn this plane around. Uh, no, it's one maggots. Of, yeah, okay. one of the passengers on the flight from Amsterdam to Detroit told WJBK... Uh, that's in Detroit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that he saw about a dozen maggots fall from an overhead bin and land on the woman next to him. Oh, no. He Did said, my maggot holder break open again? <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse. A flight attendant traced the bugs to a carry-on bag that contained... Rotten fish wrapped in newspaper. My goodness. How did that get through TSA? Well, the fish like to read. <laughs> is that what was happening? <laughs> they flew out of Amsterdam. TSA there is worried about a lot of other stuff besides yeah, not the fish. catching fish. Yeah. Really? They're looking for the mushrooms and the space cakes. <laughs> Ooh, what are space cakes? There's edibles over there. I've never had one, but I've oh, heard the space okay. cakes are fun in a cafe. <laughs> According to FlightAware, the plane had traveled as far as the U.K. before it returned to Amsterdam. An airline spokesperson confirmed Flight 133 was interrupted due to an improperly packed carry-on bag Man. and that customers were compensated for their inconvenience. They offered no further details. How Man, that just you awful. <laughs> God. Ugh. Ugh. So the fish... You think you would smell that. Yeah. The fish right? were in the carry-on. Right. But he thought, no, I, I, I better wrap him in newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> what was he thinking? He wanted something to read on the plane. Well, they're starting to get maggoty. I better wrap him in that. Yeah, I better. Anybody got a USA Today? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Sick. Authorities in North Carolina are looking for a woman accused of stealing a bidet. According to Queen City News, the bidet was stolen from a bathroom in Moe's Sweets Bakery in Boone. Anyone with information about this theft is asked to contact Crime Stoppers or the Boone Police Department in North Carolina. Why would you steal a bidet? Um, well, to you clean your that. ass. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out of toilet paper? <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to steal toilet paper than the bidet? Size-wise, no. Uh, where were you a week ago? <laughs> well, well, I was planning this caper. <laughs> Police in California are searching for a woman who allegedly stole thousands of dollars worth of chewing gum. Really? The Irvine Police Department said the woman was captured on surveillance cameras, stealing around $1,800 worth of gum from a local store. I haven't bought gum forever. I don't know what pack you of steal gum it, costs. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, much, I don't. How much is it these days? I have no idea. I don't chew gum. I don't know. I just CVS has this really cool feature where if you use the self-checkout, you get a piece of gum for free. So I haven't paid for gum probably three, four years. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's how that works. No, if you have the extra care card, yeah, you just get it for free. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'll start doing that. Yeah, the 17-year-old who sold me weed told me, and I think he's a pretty straight shooter. Wow. You guys aren't going to trust him. like a good guy. KTLA reports the woman is also suspected of committing similar gum thefts at stores across Orange County. Hmm. They are looking similar for gum thefts. What the hell is this about? Do you think she's selling it on the black market? Is there a black market markup for? I got some. Uh, gum? I got some big red. Got big red here. It's a blackjack market, really. <laughs> got blackjack, big red. Oh. Yubba bubba. Got some yubba bubba here. Oh, I love hubba bubba. Oh. Hubba bubba. Is yes. It, is hubba gone? Hubba I don't. Bubba? I don't know. Bubble yum and hubba bubba were the two best in oh, terms man. of. Uh, they always tasted pre-chewed to me. I didn't care for them. What we have, we had. 
double trouble or double bubble or something. And double, a bazooka. The, the double a bazooka and double bubble. Yeah, that was it. I loved the uh, square Big hard. Chew. Oh yeah, Big yeah. Chew. That's I, the greatest gum that makes you want to dip. How exciting! Oh, it always tastes. I love. I still to this day love Big League Chew. I put a whole pouch in my mouth at once. Uh, well, just would, have a whole cheek full. And, of yeah, it. and then I would put it in the corner of my jaw. Like yeah, a yeah. I think, but they don't. Uh, I think they've banned chewing tobacco. Uh, tobacco. I don't know who that guy was. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Major League Baseball players used to have chewing tobacco and then wrap Big League Chew around the chewing tobacco oh. and go at it that way. Real. And it, it, the people, uh, yeah, the players loved it, I guess. Oh, well, I don't think you can have uh, tobacco. Or, no, it's all sunflower seeds yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, you done right. that? Have you chewed tobacco? Uh, when <laughs> you look like a tobacco chewer, well, a chewer. Uh, when I was in Cub Scouts, all the dads uh, had red man chewing ch chaw, yeah, you know, like the big right? pack. And I was at my brother's t-ball game, and uh, our next door neighbor was putting in some red man. And I was like, "Hey, can I can I have some?" And my dad's like, "Yeah, knock yourself out." Hilarious. <laughs> and so uh, I put a big plug in, and I sat there for like ten minutes. And they go, "Oh, uh, whatever you do, don't swallow the juice." Uh, Oh. And I was like, oh, you're about 10 minutes too late. Oh, oh, man. And I spent the rest of the game behind the bleachers just vomiting oh. my second grade oh, stomach. Oh, oh. So your dad was teaching you a lesson. Oh, I learned. Yeah. I learned. Yeah. From then on, it was nothing but skull bandits. <laughs> no, I never went with the chalk. It's, uh, it's good that you learned that lesson outside. I learned that lesson junior year in Dr. Hamster's English class. Oh. We were discussing Great Gadsby. A friend gave me a pouch, and I had to excuse myself. Oh. To puke? Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Just dip it into a Coke syrup. Oh. <laughs> so how does that work? You just... I don't. I don't even understand. Uh, you put how, it in your lip. Yeah. You suck, and then you feel you, awesome. Yeah, it's you pretty get much the, juice the way that it goes. And, it's insane. But you can't swallow. No, you have to spit it out. Uh, some of the some of the pouches you can just swallow it. Mm. Is it just nicotine? Is that what you're swallowing? Yeah, you get a buzz. You yeah. get a rush. Yeah, you get a gums. buzz. But yeah, it'll make it'll upset your tummy, and it's. Uh, I think it gives you uh, mouth cancer faster than radiation. Is what my dad. <laughs> my dad would say that to me as a child. I don't like all these questions from Christy. Why should I swallow? What? What is it? What am I swallowing? <laughs> we have dark nothing dark to talk here. about. Be happy you're invited to the party, okay? <laughs> Just this shut is up. Horrible. And... My toothbrush. We're my toothbrush a... gagged me. All right. We're in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never had a problem in that area. Whoa! Oh, hello. Oh, Rock and roll. Well, the roll. emails are <laughs> yeah, sure. That clip just made the highlights. Uh, Russian teen faces up to five years uh, for making a snow penis. We're coming back with that. A Russian teen? Yes. They've got to be trouble. Uh, didn't you, uh, didn't you, you, you and uh, you did this. made a giant penis, right, out in the backyard when I you did. were a kid? Yeah, yeah it was did. 14. Yeah. I made, it was huge. It was like 15 feet long. Yeah. It was right after Super Bad, so I had a real penile obsession. The whole drawing penises in that. Was oh, it yeah. straight up and down, or was it uh, horizontal? It was horizontal, yeah. Uh. We tried, to, buddy, we tried to go up. <laughs> the, <laughs> the physics, the engineering in snow just sure. wasn't there yet. Oh, yeah, sure. We yeah. kept it on the ground, but it wasn't fall. It was a weird early snow, so... So there was kind of like little leaves in it. And uh, so they really helped with the decoration of the two balls at the base. <laughs> yeah, it was, I'll find the picture. <laughs> it sounds fascinating. We'll put that up on social. <laughs> yeah. What's coming up, Christy? Oh, I don't know. I just told you. Snow oh, penis. Remember? I forgot. <laughs> snow penis coming up. There's snow penis like snow penis like snow penis. I know. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the... It turns and sways. Okay. Well, thanks for the call. Uh, have a great day today. We're going to move And I've got forward. one more thing. May I say one more thing? I, I I've guess. been waiting 20-some years for this. Is, uh, <laughs> is everybody listening? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. listening. Uh -huh. Okay. Chick, go back 20-some years, 1998, Fort Wayne, Indiana, all <laughs> weekend with me. <laughs> what? There we go. Yes. Well, finally. Finally. I have. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Remember. And listen to this. You ordered. You or you went by your la your real name oh, when you God. checked oh, in, and geez. you invited me for the weekend. Now wait. Oh God. I'm gonna get shot for this. And you ordered grapes and Miller Lite beer. 
Yeah, that sounds like me, all right. <laughs> that's right. Yep, that's oh, me, okay. Okay, yeah. Deborah, we got to go here. <laughs> Christy, give me the teaser. <laughs> that couldn't have gone better. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I blame you. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, where do we go from here? Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. As, as uh, Jackie Kennedy, JFK is Nicole Pence. Wow, he is a good George. Yeah. Christy Lee, of course, is Teddy Roosevelt. And here Christy. comes George Washington. Oh. <laughs> Chip McGee is George oh Washington, my, ladies and gentlemen. You've never looked more presidential in your entire life. That's a nice look, a nice blue. Wow, you that actually works. A, a blue. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hook that up as soon as we can. <laughs> you got it, George. Well, take a seat, Chick. Oh, what a wow. great look. We'll you be, look good, We'll man. be getting... Uh, he has a little ponytail on the back there. Yeah, he's got, nice. he's oh got these little things to make it look like he's shit. wearing boots over his shoes, but they look like he's like on yeah, house arrest. Washington wore, wears Air Force One. It looks like I he's on house idea. arrest. Chick, you should wear this the rest of the day. <laughs> life, rest yeah. of your life. Uh, that's this is a look. I mean, the hair is just. Well, this is. Is the hair good? But yeah, no. it's gorgeous. Yeah, this is making me wonder why I this like look went hair. out of fashion. This me is great. too. And your beard, oh, everything It goes looks right with good. the thing, right? It's, yeah. 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 Yeah, it goes right with the thing. Wow, it's very good. Chick, creepy. you look like kind of sexy in this outfit. No, 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 I'm not sure. What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of coming on to you there. <laughs> what about you, Marilyn? I'd definitely give a uh, handy, <laughs> handy old George. Oh, my gosh. Now, who is this uh, hey, fetching Marilyn, young? Hey, Marilyn, I heard that. Who's this fetching young creature? I'm here? Jackie. I'm, I'm, I'm Jackie O. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. You're Jackie Kennedy. Jackie, Jackie Kennedy. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> what on earth? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can see how George would want to have sex with that. <laughs> I can't wait to get our picture your together. Off. You need to take your shirt you off. You need to take though. that shirt off underneath there. You need to. You need to. You need to take your pants off, too. Your mic on, Sparky. Put it out there. Wait, how, yeah, how you feeling right now? Arm wouldn't get up there. Yeah, where's your makeup? Where's your There's makeup? no makeup. Well, I haven't finished it. I where's just did the boobs? first phase. Oh, where's your makeup? Where's your boobs? Where's you your no George just has to hit that later. You better get it together. Okay, was Martha flat? Yeah, she was actually. Yeah. <laughs> how do how do historians know that? There's pictures. Pictures of her. <laughs> if a painter doesn't okay, well, like we'll, it, we'll get the makeup on in a second. <laughs> so you're not going to tell me what it smells like? Amazing. You keep asking me what it smells like. <laughs> well, I'm trying to answer you, but you won't let me. My God, you still haven't answered me. Evasive. Evasive. <laughs> the cologne for congressmen. Evasive. The cologne for congressmen bottled in Washington, D.C. Evasive. Evasive. When you want answers, we've got questions. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. I went to New York because at the time I was married, and, you know, you could work every night and stay home and you try and work on a marriage. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You're married. It's not that I'm, like, bitter or anything. It's just I wish I could have rehearsed 
for living with someone that I was in love with. Mm -hmm. Different than even a, a regular roommate, because you move in, you're in love, and then the rules come out. Rules for the bathroom, the kitchen, the sweet and low. You know, it's like you get the feeling you don't get divorced because the thrill is gone. It's because you don't know how to stack the tapes right underneath the VCR. It's because <laughs> you put the spoon in the fork slot of the silverware drawer after having been repeatedly warned. <laughs> You know what I mean? Daryl Hammond, uh, disgruntled <laughs> former husband uh -huh. oh, and uh, New Yorker is our guest. You're a very well-dressed man. I can't mm -hmm. notice that. This is anything. about a $27. Part of my new line of men's clothing for divorce guys called... <laughs> That's clean. <laughs> horse racing, you said you're from Kentucky. You love horse racing. Love horse racing is my passion. The only sport that I really love is, is horse racing. I've owned a couple horses. We wow. have a, we're, we're purchasing one now. In fact, a, a two-year-old colt. Cool. I don't know if you all know this. All Kentuckians know this, and most people around the country know thoroughbreds are named traditionally after a combination of the mother's and father's name, the sire and dam line. For mm -hmm. example, I didn't know Kentucky that. Derby winner Ali Sheba, out of his father, the great stallion Ali Dar, and its mother, the broodmare Belle Sheba. Mm -hmm. We're looking at one now uh, called, out of a sire named Whiny Bull by a, a mare named Girl on Girl. We named it Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work. Everybody. This is Bob and on right here. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom taking a couple of days off, so in his chair, it's Jeff Oskay. That's right. <laughs> there he is. He's never been happier. Mm, I want you to mess with everything over oh, there. I am touching nothing. <laughs> you know he's going to say you something. Can blame who, you now. Who was sitting over here? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? My, my, my headphones have Jeff's hair grease. Well, <laughs> there are whiskers on the keyboard. <laughs> what's, what's going on with these whiskers on the keyboard? <laughs> you know, that brings us... Uh, an opportunity i get to hear pat godwin's one of my his my favorite song that he does yeah tom doesn't uh, care for that anymore no he says it's, it's too, dark. too dark but uh, i really like it the voices in my head can can we play that right now pat sure. is that okay oh yeah the voices in my head told me that i love you the voices in my head said you love me too Yes, they do. You know they're always right. So I'm listening tonight to the voices in my head. Yeah, all the voices in my head said we'll always be together. So I got your name tattooed in flaming red on my forehead. <laughs> they're coming crystal clear. But my doctor, he can't hear the voices in my head. Voices in my head said to stop my medication. <laughs> the voices in my head said to jump the wall and run and buy a gun. Yeah. You know they're always right, so I won't put up a fight with the voices in my head. I see you on TV. And the voices are telling me that you want me and you need me and your boyfriend should be dead and gone. <laughs> the voices in my head said to break in your apartment and hide under the bed because your love was just a lie. You too must die. <laughs> so tonight I'll stalk, but tomorrow I'm insane, so my lawyer says I'll walk. Got forces in my head, oh yeah, yeah, got forces in my head. Got forces in my head, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too dark. <laughs> <laughs> and I found a world record I forgot to do earlier. I've... Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm ready. World San Diego man has broken a Guinness world record. Oh, maybe I didn't forget this. Maybe I. Didn't want to do it? Deliberately. <laughs> deliberately didn't want to. San Diego man has broken a Guinness World Record with his collection of Transformers memorabilia. I see. That's really cool, you guys. And everybody, yeah. we better be nice to this guy because this is a cool collection. This is very uh, age-specific, I think. Yeah. Transformers got, huge. You got uh, the fellas in there. He's got Bumblebee. He's got Shockwave. All the big boys. Shockwave. Bumblebee. What Bumblebee about uh, the one Optimus Prime? Oh, well, you got to yeah. have Optimus see, Prime. See, sure. he's sort of the main guy. It's like having a Michael Jordan How many yeah, Transformers are there? Well, there's, I mean, there's the Decepticon as well. Uh, we were right. just talking yeah. about the good guys here. Yeah. Are we talking about all of them? Have okay. you ever seen the kid? Uh, there were a couple of videos of kids with transformers.
Transformer uh, Halloween outfit. Oh, yes. yes. And it's amazing. They're so cool. They look so just good. like, and they go crawling. I hate yeah, their they look mothers. Great. <laughs> it's a pickup truck. <laughs> Mike K is this guy in San Diego. He holds the record title for the world's largest collection of Transformers memorabilia with a total of 10,568 items. Holy Ooh. cow. The previous record was held by A.J. Ard. With 5,150 unique items. Even though Kay does not know the exact worth for, of his collection, he says they've got to be worth somewhere close to a half a million dollars. Damn. Wow. What do you think of that? I'd find somebody who would buy those <coughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Th this might be peak uh, selling yeah. time for Josh. Did you have a Transformer growing up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, More did you? More than meets the eye. Which one did you have? Oh, we had a few, but uh, I remember having Optimus Prime. We g Oh. Well, they must. You must have money. That no, was, no, we didn't. The, but my, uh, I had one transformer. It was the cop car. <laughs> okay, and I have yeah. no idea what his name was. <laughs> but I only had one transformer. Oh, so it was like that at, against a bunch of green army men. <laughs> like it was just like it didn't work. You know, you need two transformers. Yeah, to steal a Barbie from your cousin yeah. just to make it look exciting. It, I was more of a GoBots kid. Oh, what are GoBots? What are they what? were? They were just like Transformers, essentially. Only but, three dollars cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why because it was like you can, you don't you can have a GoBots. Yeah. He says uh, he started his collection with Hoist, a green and orange tow truck. Huh. Oh. I don't remember. Do you guys remember no. Hoist? No. no. Do you guys no. collect anything? Now? Have you ever collected anything? Yeah. I used to collect G.I. Joes and um, movie stubs. I used to collect. Movie tickets? Really? Yeah. Huh. You don't no. have them anymore? No. All of a sudden, I went, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just threw that shoebox away. I think it would create a, it'd take a real loser to hold on to, like, tickets and stuff. Yeah. Like, who, or who would collect them? Hey, hey. or... I used to collect. Sports cards. Sure, yeah, yeah. Sports, sports cards. You mean like real Car sports cards? Cards. Cards. Oh, sports cards. Basketball, football, oh, baseball. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Josh, sure. I like the world where you still collect your movie stubs, but now they're not giving them to you anymore. So you're just yelling at a 17 year old <laughs> kid, being like, How else is people going to know I saw the holdovers, okay? <laughs> I need a hard copy. <laughs> well, that's a yeah. big deal for Ace for tickets. Yeah, tickets mad at me. Concert if I went tickets. to the Super Bowl today, I've got no souvenir. No, no, that's not the reason I get mad at you. Because, uh, I get mad at you for lots of other reasons. That's way down the list. Yeah, yeah, that's way down. The ticket thing's way down. That's actually kind of endearing uh, as far as stuff that pisses me off that you do. How many so, concert tickets do you think you have, Ace? Oh, Christ. A couple of shoe boxes worth. Okay. All right, cool. I think it's some cool stuff. What size shoe? Like a small shoe or a big shoe? <laughs> have you ever paid for a concert? Not since the 70s. Nice, man. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. What happened? Would you just say this is unacceptable? I'm not coming to your show if they don't buy you a ticket? Is that what you tell them? If I'm playing your music, I'm supporting you, exposing you, I'm making you money. I don't I don't think that's a thing anymore, buddy. <laughs> um, well, what concert would you actually pay now to go see? Um, actually, I, I, no. Thunder? <laughs> Thunder. Thunder. You mean like thunder and lightning, the the weather phenomenon? That's free. <laughs> yeah, 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 outside, outside, wait. Wait. Thunder, thunder down under, the mail review in Vegas. Oh, I've seen like them. No, the oh, they're thing. fun. Oh. Wait oh. a minute, you've seen thunder from down under? Oh, hell yeah, in Vegas. <laughs> Not only yeah, but hell yeah. <laughs> It's pretty right funny. On. It's I, really I, mean, I, I get funny. so jealous that women have can have so much fun and stuff like that, and guys just we there just was, sit there and stare. Well, I want to party your it up. Sides. <laughs> yeah, actually, there were some guys there, and well. they were with no, they were with their wives or whatever. No, or it was, yeah, right. I mean, it was fine. They were having a good time. It was fun. <laughs> nice, but. Oh, boy. But you know what I mean. Uh, guys uh, at strip clubs, we should be like, look at her. She's all yeah. Oh, yeah. No. These women go crazy. They're standing on the tables. They're, like, jumping up and down. Yeah, it's... see? That's fun. Do they have, have, have a lot there. of down under in their thunder? Or thunder in their down under? Uh, Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, for what uh, they wear a G-string type uh, of apparatus. So they could put whatever they want in there, Ace? I guess. That's but... one of the clubs here used to have a co-ed Friday and Saturday. So half the club would be... Dancing men and half club yes. dancing women. Oh, gotcha. And the women were so much rowdier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah. I don't know why we guys all of a sudden just turn into. <laughs> like, like a lion watching like gazelles. Yeah, who, what, what, what is the just comedian who says Larry, Larry Miller? Larry Miller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to kiss her. I'm going to eviscerate her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Christy, what's coming up in the news? We still have snow penis. Snow penis is still yeah, all we, intact. We haven't done it yet. We haven't we haven't done the story. And Pat, we get another song out of you? Absolutely. And I think we have a special guest coming. Oh my gosh, that's right. Hang Look on. Out. His last name's Han. His first name could be Greg. He's coming up. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. And for a bunch of weird experiences, I become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh, yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off. So he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And while we're out, he sees a young lady. He says, I think I know her. I think she's an actress. I think me and my wife hung out with her. I said, hey, man, we're in Kansas City. There's no way that chick's an actress. <laughs> she probably works at Cheesecake Factory or something. <laughs> And he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. <laughs> oh. They're here playing the arena tomorrow night, and they're here having dinner. Oh, so maybe it was Carrie Mulligan. Might have been. Yeah. I don't know who it was. But he sends them a bottle on us, he says, which meant on him. him, yeah. Because I'm not. <laughs> Listen, if you're, if you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and we're hanging out, <laughs> You're buying. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Sorry, dude. You fly private. You're That's buying drinks. Yeah. That is a good one. I think it's fair. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, he buys drinks. It doesn't even show up on his register. I buy drinks. I can't buy shoes next month. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it's just Ann Sons. <laughs> oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and sons come over, start talking to the Detroit Tigers. I'm not really involved, so I kind of tune it all out. When I come back into focus, and sons are kind of talking smack <laughs> to the Detroit Tigers about beer pong. They're like, hey, we'll whoop your butt in some beer pong. And the Detroit Tigers are like, we get paid very handsomely to put balls places. Right. <laughs> Uh, bring it. <laughs> so I said, hey, fellas, my parents live about eight minutes from here. Oh, boy. We could settle this. And I said that because I know both and Sons and the Detroit Tigers have an entire floor to do whatever they want. <laughs> so there's no reason to come to parents' house. It was complete fake hospitality. Right. Until they all turned around and looked at me and said, hell yeah, <laughs> let's go to your parents' house and play beer pong. And I went, oh. Crap. Because <laughs> it is now 2 o'clock on a Sunday night. Oh. Technically Monday morning. Yes. My parents are not gypsies. <laughs> right? They have real jobs that start in like five hours. Yes. But I also can't look at all these dudes and be like, you guys, <laughs> my parents. <laughs> so I just said, whatever. We're going to roll the dice, see what happens. Sure. So we get there. First off, as we're leaving, my sister texts me. She says, hey. I'm out and about. If you get home before I do, will you walk my dog? <laughs> I said, hey, unless you're out and about with the Dave Matthews band, you better get your butt home because it's about to go down at Ma and Pa's house. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back to my parents' house, start throwing beer pong, and stuff got weird. <laughs> like weirder than I've already described. Like my sister, who is 30, yes. ended up in her prom dress. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Oh, no. God bless her for still being able to fit in it, mm -hmm. but also <laughs> the hell, right? <laughs> so uh, we at one point in the evening, I go outside to partake in some uh, illegal activities. And... Uh, uh, I'm assuming the pot, not the pot, yeah, not, yes. not murder. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, well, murder. we were gonna see where it went, sure. and uh, so and sons come with me. But uh, as it was the middle of the baseball season, the Detroit Tigers could not partake. Right. Sure. Uh, so they had to pretend like it was the playoffs and watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, read an almanac. So we came back in from smoking, and my dad's downstairs, and he's upset. He's like, what's going on down here? And I said, well, this is uh, half the Detroit Tigers bullpen. 
and this is Ann Sons from Mumford and Sons, <laughs> and we're playing beer pong, and it was in that moment that I realized my father was no longer sure if he was actually awake. Because <laughs> you got to look at it from his point of view. He walks downstairs. It's the middle of the night. He sees a bunch of weird dudes that he kind of recognizes. And my sister's in her prom dress. <laughs> like, things are weird. Yeah. And he's just confused. He's just like, uh, uh, is that Justin Verlander? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, it is. He goes, I don't know what's happening right now. And he walked upstairs. That was the last we saw of him. Wow. He didn't say, is Kate here? <laughs> no, no, he was just like, what? And the whole next day, I'm freaking out because my parents do a lot for me. I don't even be making them upset over some stupid... Sure. Right. So... Uh, when dad gets home, I'm completely ready to take him out to dinner, buy him some drinks. And he walks in like he's had the greatest day of his life. And I say, what happened to you? And he's like, well, I woke up this morning. I hated you. <laughs> I cursed your name all the way to work. <laughs> but then I got to work and everyone started asking me why I look so tired and exhausted. So I started complaining about my son bringing home the Detroit Tigers <laughs> and Mumford and Sons and playing beer pong all night. And now I'm the coolest dude in the office. <laughs> <laughs>
I like the new place. It's it's nice. It's water world. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm overlooking an iguana. An iguana or a lagoon? I don't know. I would imagine you do have iguanas where you're at. Yeah, we got iguanas all over the place. Falling out of the trees, yeah, right? When it gets get too cold. cold. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fall down, they hit their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with that? Hitting your head at any time? You know anything Have you about met any that? of your neighbors? Yeah, yeah, it's happened a lot. Have you met any of your neighbors? They're all nice people. Are yeah. they? Wait till you get the drum set in there. Things are going to change. <laughs> yeah. It's going to change. All of a sudden, not nice anymore. <laughs> This damn guy has a set of drums. Did you yeah. see him? <laughs> a pair of teenagers in Russia are facing up to five years in prison for making a snow penis. According mm -hmm. to the Daily Beast, 14-year-old and 16-year-old boys created the massive snow sculpture in front of the Memorial of Glory in the village of Sterolyskoy before photographing it and destroying the snow phallus. But according <laughs> to the news outlet Baza, police detained the teens who may face a prison sentence for the prank. Ah, uh, Russia. Man, oh man. It, it, it gets better. The boys' parents were also charged with not fulfilling their parental duties. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? That means that they are being charged because they weren't watching their kids. Uh, so you're against the parents no. getting getting charged? Yes. Really? I, I'm on board. Yes, Bring absolutely. it to America. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Forget punishing the kids. Punish those horrible parents. You're damn right. Man. How do you I think to punish Oh, oh my, my lord. Goodness, it's beautiful. There's a picture of it. It's as oh, realistic that's as the best any thing. snow okay. penis you'll ever see. Okay. That's the best thing. It is a wreck. It can't be done. <laughs> yeah, Willie, don't yeah. you feel a little... I did. I, I made a snow penis when I was 14, and I posted on my Instagram, and now I feel like a fool <laughs> because this one is so well done. Yeah. I feel like I made... That, I mean, Thank that's you. David. It's Michelangelo's David. That thing is so perfect. It's yes. gorgeous. The cusp looks great. It is museum quality. <laughs> I mean, way to go, fellas. Look at that thing. Yeah. I mean, even the way that the base, the way that the... The, the, skin, the scrotal skin starts to stretch yeah. as it uh, separates. What a magnificent from... yeah. bastard that is. Thank you for using the term scrotal, scrotal skin. skin? Uh, sure, yeah. I'm... Don't we have a song about this? Yeah. Right? A song or a snow penis. Is that what you need? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, I have a song about Willie's snow penis way you back do. in the day. Yeah. Oh. It showed up one wintry morning uh, Right by a roundabout <laughs> Two big snowballs, a shaft one eye Making the young girl shout <laughs> It had the one eye pointed skyward While cars drove by the cul-de-sac And all of the town folks said Hey, look a penis Hey, hey look, look a penis, penis. Y'all so veiny. <laughs> they probably should have just made a snowman. Y'all so veiny. Make a snowman, not a big penis, penis, penis. That's all I got. Very nice. all you need, right? Heck yeah, that's all you need. That was awesome. Pat. Greg, did Thank you ever you. do anything like this with snow when you were uh, a little rascal? No, I think I made a snowman or something. You know, did, did you I was brought up in Florida. What do you want? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't do any of that. All right, yeah. hey, hey, hey calm down. We're all Wait friends here. Yeah. Calm down. What about sandcastles? Did you make any sand sculptures? No, none of that stuff. We went to the ocean, <laughs> swam around a little bit. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Don't suggest that Greg made sandcastles. You're, you're not on. You're not invited on many what, podcasts. What is stories. this? What is this? Small talk? <laughs> well, we I'm not in a small talk. <laughs> He's clearly an ocean man, you guys. Yeah, he it. loves wow. the sea. <laughs> Did you see me? I got scared me? when you I said it. Too. Did me you too. See me? I went. She, I, she, she I, thought, I flinched. I she, she thought that was really I, tough. I, we all I have PTSD, too. don't I think we do. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you know what? You got nothing on me. <laughs> if we're talking about post-traumatic Tom disorder, you all can shut up right now. Uh, uh, oh. mm. Wow, okay. My, my dad built us an igloo when we were kids. Like uh, an that's actual, a great story, like, Jeff. Climbing igloo. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. Before that was cultural appropriation, we actually had an igloo in our backyard. It was great. Wow. I, don't think that's that's, cool. I don't think anyone would get mad at a, a dad making an igloo for his boys. Oh, yeah, nowadays. Hey, well, let me tell you. <laughs> My parents curious. never made it. They, they, they don't play with the old refrigerator in the woods. <laughs> yeah, make sure the door shuts all the way. Is that right? Fun. Wow. You know what? <laughs> make it's, a fort out of you it. You said right? it like it's bad. When you're a kid, an old fridge in the wood, that's fun for three weeks. I mean, oh, yeah. You make a fort. You guys smoke cigarettes behind it. <laughs> what a fun time that could be.
Did you make forts when you were kids? Oh, all the time. Me and my friends, they, my buddy lived in this neighborhood, and there was this weird little just, like, area kind mm -hmm. of behind the woods, and we would hang out there all the time and tell older boys that smoked cigarettes and were mean to us. We're like, you guys got to get a new territory. Oh. <laughs> it was. And also, these guys, we were in, like, fourth grade. Do you remember being in, like, fourth grade and sixth graders being mean to you? And you're like, oh, these are adults. Yeah. These, are the, these, these are people are in charge of There was something about going, oh, okay, no, yeah, of course they're mean to us, and that's, that's just how it is. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we right, can do right. about it. Yeah, you're right. We're younger. Yeah. 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 And now if I saw a 12-year-old boy smoking, I'd go, get inside. What are you doing doing that? That's so bad. Go inside. Watch cartoons, will you? You ever have a treehouse? Wasn't that fun when your friend would fall out of it and drop like two stories? <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if he was still alive. He makes a but noise. get up. <laughs> like, a wow. <laughs> At last, a story. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> get up. <laughs> A New Zealand man allegedly tried to evade arrest by swimming out to sea. Where's that? Down near Australia? Yeah, that is. <laughs> this incident occurred after a vehicle was spotted driving in a dangerous manner along some road in Auckland. Officers signaled for the driver to stop. He sped off. The man then drove into the beach or onto the beach, got out of his car, ran into the water, and swam, quote, quite a distance offshore. <laughs> Greg, this guy's just like you. Skips the sand straight to the water. Look at <laughs> yeah, him go. Exactly. Doesn't mess around with no. Nice. Police uh, actually had to send a helicopter out to keep an eye on the suspect while officers took a boat and apprehended the guy in the water. Wow. The 36-year-old was charged with failing to stop driving while disqualified. That's an interesting thing. Mm. And reckless driving. Was he a NASCAR? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> driving while disqualified. Got the DQ. Yeah. yeah. Man. That must be a thing in New Zealand. It must be. Don't you not, you don't deploy the helicopter in a boat. Don't you just go, okay, and, and you just sit on the beach, <laughs> start a barbecue, and just see? See what happens? You're Look, he's right. going to do a U-turn. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. Korean scientists have created a hybrid food by growing animal cells in rice grains. Oh! Oh. <laughs> That's them having a celebration. Okay. <laughs> To create the cultured beef rice. Don't do this. <laughs> we don't need it. You don't want beef rice? I don't. Cow muscle and fat stem cells were seeded into the rice and left to culture in a Petri dish. The harvested final product is a cell-cultured beef rice with main ingredients that meet food safety requirements. This is in Korea. And have a slow risk of triggering food allergies. Mom, my chow mein is mooing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the hybrid beef rice has 8% more protein and 7% more fat than regular rice. <laughs> they hope as opposed to the zero and zero of those yeah. things. That... They hope that once commercialized, the cultured beef rice could offer a more affordable protein alternative with a smaller carbon footprint. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, <Willie. laughs> yeah, I don't know. No. Come no, on, I Josh. No. Don't you get mad about how much of a carbon footprint your rice releases every day? <laughs> I can't even have minute rice without screaming at God. <laughs> That's such yeah, an John. insane thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs beef rice? Well, I, I get that it could help people. Yeah, oh, yeah it, it could help yeah. with... Wait, uh, wait, don't we already have beef? Can't you have beef-flavored rice? What are they doing? I don't understand. They, they want the actual fat and protein in the rice so that... Uh, that you aren't actually putting beef onto the rice. Right. Yes, yeah, mm. so that it does... That Just would makes help me nervous. With. Is it real beef? Yeah, well, it's... I want some yeah. beef. Beef stem cells put into the yeah. rice there. What do they grow and turn into a, Did like you a not piece listen? of meat? Are you I heard every word. Are you playing Tom today? No, 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 no. <laughs> Does it just taste like beef or is it like a nice little piece of beef? Uh, I don't know. Is it beef and rice? Beef rice <laughs> tastes like beef, I would assume. You can get mm -hmm. rice or only beef flavor. Okay. Yes, that's what I was saying. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm thinking like a Right. Oh my God. But that doesn't have the, the protein in the fat. Right. This, Correct. So this actually, uh, yeah, they're you know trying you can, to do a good thing. You know what you can do with rice infused with beef? What? You can make rice patties. <laughs> if Tom were here, he'd laugh. I miss it. I miss it. Oh, really? Next. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we'll come back with more You guys more know what a stuff. rice patty is? Yes. I don't know what a rice yeah. patty is. My oh, dad okay. was in Vietnam. Oh. He sure was, while oh. yours was sitting around sucking on a popsicle. <laughs> or a joint, some of my either great, <laughs> Some of my great memories of sharing a popsicle with dad. While my dad was making sure you two could do it. <laughs> you know,
know, quality sleep is essential for boosting energy. Isn't that right? Yes. Thank you, whatever your name is. Well, that's why Sleep Number Smart Bed is designed. Oh, we have to. If we're going to talk sleep number, we have to talk with the queen of the sleep number bed, oh, Christy don't Lee. Know. And the brand new sleep number bed that she, you slept on it last night, right? Yeah, it's the second night in a row, my big king size bed. Can't you hey. check uh, Can't you check your sleep number bed now to I see it's can. doing Let's, on your phone? Should we take have a you look? You made the boom see? boom on the bed yet? Have you done uh, the magic? Yeah, the boom boom and the room room and the boom boom. None of your business. Make the room move. We did get it on. Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, well, we got, they got it on Valentine's That's Day. That's right. <laughs> Josh, what's your sleep number, Ben? 65, my friend. Oh, Tom would never ask you what your number no. is. What is yours, Chick? 100, the same as your husband. Yeah, Lord. mine's 35. I like a soft That's bed. how I can sneak in and sneak out, and no one's the wiser. <laughs> And did you know that J.D. Power now ranks sleep number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store? That's right. And now during Sleep Number's President's Day sale, sleep the way Lincoln slept on a sleep number bed. Save 50% on the sleep number limited edition smart bed. That's half, plus special financing for a limited time. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Only at Sleep Number stores or... Go to sleepnumber.com slash B-T-S-H-O-W. That's sleepnumber.com slash B-T-Show. See store for details. We'll be right back with more news and a song from Pat and Greg Hahn, I think, is the name of our comedian. <laughs> we'll be back with him as well. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. What's the, what's the exact correct name of this? The Pickle Dog. The Pickle, pickle dog. dog. Pickle Dog. Okay, now, well, we are all Pickle Dog virgins. So, Bob, why don't you go first, and right. I'll do the play-by-play. -play. Bob, your right hand, you're supposed to put your left hand behind your head <laughs> before you... Oh, no! Pickle Dog down! Okay, now Bob Bob is now chewing the Pickle Dog. He's about to give his analysis and his review. Uh, Bob. It's delicious. It is delicious. It gets a thumbs up from Bob. It's very messy. Are they going to be able to show this very on the TV messy. show? I know. It's John, messy. eat it. It's very messy. Bob, your thoughts? John, I... I mm. shot my hot dog <laughs> uh, right mm. out of the uh, right out of the pickle out of the canoe. Well, well some pi some people get a little excited when they have the first pickle dog. Well, it's you know, I, I did, and I I made a I've created a huge <laughs> huge mess over here that actually looks somewhat like a porn <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Now, Bob has split the hot dog and put the cheese down the middle of the That's hot good. dog. That's good. That's fine. And now you're going to stuff that in the <laughs> And I actually, I had to surgically remove the end of the hot dog. I circumcised my hot dog. Oh, to yeah. fit in the did Twinkie. You, so it'll fit in the bun. Now, did you, right. Jimbo, did that you isn't a bun, though. Dog. It's a Twinkie. Now, did you it take. It is the bun, did my you, friend. Did you take no, the cream out of the Twinkie? No. No, you don't you want to do nuts? that. Why would you take the cream Why would out you of the take Twinkie? The cream out? Oh. I'm going to take the Twinkie and, and shove it in there. <laughs> take it, Twinkie. Oh, oh, oh the Twinkie oh, split open. Oh, oh, let me see. Hold up your Twinkie. Now, Bob's oh, looks oh, oh, boy. How does it taste, Bob? Bob is now taking a bite of the cheese Twinkie <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Say the secret word. The doctor will come down and give you that out. Bob, uh, your thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> so you've got the, the, the yeah. Twinkie, which is a cake instead of a bread bun. Yeah. Oh, it's actually not bad. <laughs> well, Bob likes it. A little sure. sweet taste, a little salty taste. Holy mother of God, this is delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Have we done a calorie estimate on this? Uh, <laughs> I want to make a point that Bob is using a, a hot dog to As a make, pointer. <laughs> as a pointer. <laughs> You have got to try this. Me? Yes. <laughs> no. Just one. Yes. One <laughs> little bite. One <laughs> little bite. Just one on little here. teeny tiny bite. Do you come want to over here? Dog get, come me? over here and buy my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we can do it tomorrow. With, if you want to add bacon, oh, we can no, make arrangements. Oh no, she's eating it now. Bacon. She's eating it now. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Go, baby, go. I hope none of this creamy stuff gets on your cheeks. <laughs> now, no, Bob, put your, put your hand on the back of her head. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know what that was don't, all about. Don't, don't hold her ears. Yeah. Just, uh, you're going to love it. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Can she, let her put it in her own mouth, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. Sweet and salty, yummy. Christy, your thoughts, please. Uh, 
<laughs> Could you get near the microphone and it's give not, us your thoughts? It's not bad. Don't talk with your mouth full. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, how about that? Bingo. Huh? Bofa on the front. What? Bofa on the front. What are we talking about? D's nuts on the back. The new t-shirts. What do you think? What are they going to say again? Bofa on the front. And then on the back. D's nuts! <laughs> and another t-shirt. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> having just been. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I do very well. Uh, but I don't know what on the back yet. What do you think? Are you recording this? And convenient. Oh, yeah? Just carry a packet of amazing powdered water with you anytime you don't have room for a stick up faucet. <laughs> then, if you need water fast, simply open the packet, pour the contents into a glass like this, uh -huh. and just add water. Mmm, oh. <laughs> cool, clear water in seconds, wow. and it's just that easy. Wow. And it's only $29.95 <laughs> for three two ounce packages of amazing powdered water that make up to, now get this, folks. Up to five gallons of pure mountain stream water wow. from the glaciers of Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah. Scandinavian glacier water not verified. An American tap water may be substituted in some powder packets. Five gallons of water must be added to reconstitute the full five gallons of powder. Water. <laughs> Folks, can you ever have enough water? No. I say no. no. Uh -uh. So order in the next five minutes, and I'll throw in two more three packs for free, plus oh. $59.95 shipping and handling. That's a great oh. deal, but wait. Deal. When you order four three packs of my two ounce pack packets, Along with the previous order of the three three-pack packets for only a total of two sixty-nine ninety-five, <laughs> I'm going to send you a complimentary gift set of my wildly popular home entertainment accessory item designed specifically for your guests who happen to be nudists. Yeah. Scrotum coasters. <laughs> Just drop them and forget them. Yeah. Call it a. I'm Billy Mazing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And the sign said anybody caught trespassing <laughs> will be shot on sight. So I jumped over the fence and yelled at the house, Hey, what gives you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. We're here. Tom taking a couple of days off. so That means you won't be here Monday? Uh, that does mean he won't be. And don't be concerned; he is out having fun. So yes, he is. he's having yes, he a great is. time uh, against his uh, against his better judgment. But we made him have a good time. Yes. So, <laughs> is he gambling? Uh, is he betting the flop flop of the river? <laughs> <laughs> he might be. He might be splitting aces somewhere. I don't know. He might be. Uh, <laughs> oh, is there anything better than splitting me. aces and hit getting me. two blackjacks? Hit I don't me. think hit so. Me. I, uh, I can name six things, <laughs> but, uh, but that's pretty good. I don't like when the guy next to me decides to split tens. Like that's you, you, you won, sir. You didn't have to do that. Now uh, you screwed the whole shoe. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I no, I want to gamble. I get to do whatever I want. I hate that people come to a casino and then get mad at me about rules. You're mad at me about rules at the casino. Just kick rocks, pal. I pull out a literal book of how to play blackjack and I show it to the person. Sounds like Willie's the guy that screws the shoe. Right, Josh? Uh huh. Yep. There's you gambling, the guy. Greg? You gambling out there? Oh, yeah. Hit me, 1927. Hit me again. <laughs> Keep hitting me. <laughs> Take the $700. What is this, a free rum and coke? How do you guys stay in business? <laughs> he's trying to get to 31. That's what he's doing. And, uh, that is Greg Hahn, and he will be in uh, Nashville, Indiana, tomorrow night at the Brown County Playhouse. Going nuts with uh, Dave the King Wilson, who can guess. You give him your birthday. He'll tell you who won the Indianapolis 500, and I can do it, too. Is that oh. right? When's your birthday? Well, give me your uh, date you are born. Uh, November 20th. Marty Fartwell. How about you? Uh, <laughs> November. Uh, how about you, Josh? I'm uh, May 16th. Ed Fartmore. How about you, oh. uh, Christy Lee? May 17th. Uh, George Rumblefarts. Go ahead. <laughs> then next weekend, Greg will be in Newcastle, Indiana, at a place called the Castle Theater. Oh. And then uh, coming up. 
What is that, March 2nd? Is that right? Yeah, that looks March right. 2nd? March 2nd at Tiffin, Ohio at the Ritz Theater. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that's it's a great place. Top party. It's the Ritz. That is a yeah. Friends yeah. of Bobby's there. Show. Somebody, yeah. Somebody's showing up. And Oscar then uh, March 8th at the uh, Traverse City, Michigan Opera House. Another Bob and Tom Bash. Uh, March 9th, Kokomo at the Coco Kokomo Theater. Kokomo. Oh, that's with Willie, isn't it? Kokomo? Yeah. I'm going to be there. I just show up. I'm happy when someone else does. Kokomania. And is this right? Yeah. Greg, March 8th through the 24th, you're going to be in the Tropicana in Vegas? Yeah, right before they knock it down. Vegas, wow. baby, yeah. Vegas. Are they Are knocking serious? down the Tropicana? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're building the ballpark. Really? What? Yeah, that's that's, where, they're, that's yeah. where the A's are going to be playing. Aww. Where the Tropicana? They should have named them the Las Vegas Tropicanas or the Trops well, or something. They, they can't it, call it Tropicana Field, I was can gonna, they? That's exactly what <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. There's they can't all, do there, that. There already is a Tropicana Field. Mm, right. Mm. Huh. I may come out and see you in Vegas. Yeah, come on we out. We should all go. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a point in our show where can I tell you that Jeff Hoske is here with news you failed to mention. Hello, Jeff. Hey, everybody. You I'm have a at costume the, change. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I'm at the failed to mention news desk. Uh, you know, as, as, as always, we give you a lot of the news, but we don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Hoske with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, real quick, uh, this week, a uh, new sponsor for the news desk. Uh, this week, it's brought to you by Dale's Discount AI. We do AI at the deep discounts, and it shows. That's <laughs> Dale's Discount AI. All right. A huge milk spill uh, turned a creek in Virginia white. Yeah. What you failed to mention, uh, officials say there's only a 2% chance of any fish being harmed. Uh, <laughs> silly. Uh, uh, nice okay. news. I yeah. love the 1980s graphics. This uh, is great. Uh, yeah, I made those myself. Uh, well, actually, Dale at Dale's Discount AI made those for Oh, me. okay, yeah. Uh, Dale's doing a hell of a job. There's a picture. What it is, a picture of a fish drinking from a glass yeah. of milk? 2%. <laughs> Uh, one person uh, or one prison is using geese instead of dogs to uh, guard prisoners out in the yard. Uh, what you failed to mention over in the UK, they're using a uh, flock of seagulls. <laughs> flock of seagulls. The band. They're from the oh, UK. Yeah. Band. I ran so far away. They're not doing anything but else. They're from right the now, UK, so. that band, right? <laughs> Uh, some <laughs> California schools are going back to teaching kids how to write in cursive, uh, what you failed yes. to mention. And once you've learned that, uh, it's on to steam engine repair, kids. <laughs> steam engine uh, repair. There's a picture of a small girl repairing a steam engine. <laughs> Very visual. It's great for radio. Uh, according to Gen Z, you're old if you carry a wallet. Have you heard this, Willie? No, I haven't heard this. Yeah. I uh, what you failed to mention, I did some research. Actually, it's okay to carry a wallet as long as your wallet identifies as a money clip. <laughs> <laughs> For those, those Gen Zers and their rules. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, students were expelled from school after their mother refused to re remove her OnlyFans advertisement from her SUV. Mm. Uh, what you failed to mention, the mother has caught... Cut all ties with the school and now is only dealing with only lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed that up. Let's no, do that no, one again. No, no, no. We can. You want to do it again? I, I do. Okay, Jack, do please. One more. Rewind. Yep, no problem. Okay. A, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> students were expelled after their mother refused to remove her OnlyFans advertisement from her SUV. What you failed to mention, the mother has cut all ties with the school and is now dealing with only lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, good Lord. I noticed no difference. <laughs> <laughs> a drunk man was arrested after driving his truck into the ocean. Fine. Uh, what you failed to mention, uh, the ocean must have been cold. Even his truck nuts were shriveled up. It's <laughs> silly. <laughs> that is a cold ocean. Yes. A couple of kiwis on the screen Ooh. for yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. A, uh, that's, that's the best AI does for truck nuts. They give you a couple kiwis. Uh, a uh, woman returned her three-year-old used sofa to Costco for a full refund. What you failed to mention, uh, you got to be terrified if you're one of her children. <laughs> yeah, welcome. This is your new foster home, kids. 
<laughs> I, uh, it wasn't working out. Uh, someone was arrested after uh, stealing a Snoop Dogg bobblehead worth over $1,000 from a local business. <laughs> what you failed to mention, uh, Matt, I can only imagine the bobblehead on the stand for the prosecution. Is this the man who stole you? Uh, let the record show the bobblehead is nodding yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, employees at a Dairy Queen were arrested for selling meth on the clock. What you failed to mention, they were sentenced to uh, soft serve one to three years. <laughs> hi Ice cream cone behind I love it. jail cell. Right. And finally, thank God, uh, men online are... Uh, Preaching to practice masturbation abstinence. Hmm. What? Uh, what you failed to mention sounds like a bunch of jerk offs to me. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm Jeff Vasquez, and this has been the news that we mentioned. Store them off. <laughs> Light something on fire. <laughs> Boy, that brought back memories seeing those pictures in the corner like that. You don't see that very much anymore, do no. you? On local news? Uh, I see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. A Am I supposed to say no? I don't know. Okay. I don't watch local news. So right. A health and fitness app conducted a poll that reveals people's bowel habits. Bowel habits. As really? they relate to dating. I couldn't go. What? Oh, so like you want to dump before you go out on a date? Yeah, I guess. Etiquette, you mean? Mm -hmm. My fit. Believe me, you'll hear this again in a few days when he's <laughs> back. My fitness pal survey conducted in honor of National Poop Day. My National fit Poop Day. <laughs> My fitness pal and National Poop Day. <laughs> found that 30% of respondents admitted to changing their eating habits to avoid pooping in front of a date or significant other. Wow. Hmm. What do you mean in front of her? Door <laughs> <laughs> open. I mean, that is, her. yeah. <laughs> but let's say, you know, you bring up a very good point. you're on a third date. About. You're like, yeah. hey, I think this is the date that we're going to uh, actually, I better not get the chili dogs, yeah, that kind of thing. Maybe. I'll do that with, if I know we're going to hook up, I'll say, hey, do you want to come over before the date? Because if you're getting ramen, who wants to, you know, you have the broth belly. You don't uh. want to move around. You don't want to get all excited with the broth belly going. Oh, so you have ever had relations belly. before you go out to dinner. Have you? It's the, it's the greatest. Mm -hmm. Have the mm -hmm. dessert before dinner. It's the most huh. fun thing. And then you go to dinner, you got that... A little look in your eye. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that little uh, like no, a gleam. Is it, it look that says moist yeah. Yeah. Is it is it food poisoning? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> okay. You it's know that look, look, Greg? What, what does that look say? Yeah. Do I need to get some doxycycline? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's good stuff. Forty-five <laughs> percent of those uh, avoid dairy on a date. Okay. Fifty percent avoid spicy foods. Sixty percent said they hold off pooping when they're around their partners. Oh, that's ridiculous. 45% of Americans will only poop with other people around if it's an emergency. Well, uh, <laughs> the others percentage? crap their pants. Yeah. percent <laughs> I don't... I don't understand the. I think that it's like if you can't control it that much, can you? No, no. no but it's no. something like if you're in a hotel room with someone you've only been dating for a few months. If you want to do a major transaction, you go to the go lobby. To love yeah, your dad taught us all that. That, I, was very... that is insane. It, no. I agree. No, no that is not. No, absolutely no, not. No, I think it's very. Courteous. Never underestimate the power of a courtesy flush. And just on it, I go, hey, look, I poop. If you want to be with me, it's going to happen every now and again. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> is that your? Is that one of your openers? Is one of your openers? Is that why you're alone? Well, it ends up being a closer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That might Potato, be potato. <laughs> Grow why up. you're not married. Mm. Everybody mm. dumps. It's no big deal. Yes. Have some fun. Figure yes. it out. Who yeah. wrote that book, Everybody Poops? <laughs> Remember that? Leo know. Tolstoy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been a lot thicker. <laughs> Warm poop. Warm poop. <laughs> that's, that's good. Speaking that's of good. dating, young some young women in China are turning to so-called AI boyfriends. There are multiple apps out there offering chatbots that have turned into romantic partners for some women. Oh, man. Chu Fi, a 25-year-old Chinese office worker, said that her boyfriend is a chatbot on Glow who knows how to talk to women better than a real man. A 22-year-old by the name of Wang Xuanting said it's difficult to meet the ideal boyfriend in real life. Instead, she has several quote-unquote lovers on the app Want Talk who are inspired by ancient China long-haired immortals, princes, and even wandering knights. Boy, I bet she has a subscribe and save with <laughs> batteries. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but they're not 
They're not real people. They're not real right? people. Yeah. Okay. Lou Yu, an executive for well, Lou Yu too. <laughs> <laughs> for Want Talk said, quote, everyone experiences complicated moments, loneliness, and is not necessarily lucky enough to have a friend or family nearby who can listen to them 24 hours a day. Ugly. That's Uggos. where artificial intelligence can meet a need. Uggos and fatty, fat, fat, fat. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Sometimes Uggos and fat, 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 fat. Oh, no, not both. That's a dangerous, <laughs> a dangerous Venn diagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you ever, I mean, I can't imagine. Or do they tell you up front they're AI? I yes, would... I think they know, yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this would be a cool tool for a girlfriend to have. And then when her real boyfriend comes home drunk, she's like, well, my AI boyfriend never smells like whiskey. He can always do what, he, what you can't do. I think that's what they should do. They should use it as a bargaining tool. <laughs> Would you be jealous of an AI boyfriend? No, I don't think so. Everything's a negotiation. You think so? Yeah. No, I think uh, you can't, AI boyfriend can't do fun stuff like I do. Right. Are you kidding me? They can't right. do hilarious jokes two seconds after sex, you know? <laughs> Say, hey, <laughs> you, know, you want to get out of here? Go visit my grandma, go to Chipotle, have a nice little Sunday. <laughs> hilarious. The ladies love it. <laughs> AI could never. Huh. I saw that 45% of uh, men were considering using AI for Valentine's Day, as in like writing letters and cards. That would help. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's not, not bad. All that different from just buying a Hallmark card and right. giving it to somebody. No, I, I think a lot. I, don't you ever? Sometimes people will put in like what to write on a sympathy card or you know help to get like help. Google it. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. I guess that's where AI would come in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I need a nice sympathy card. Yeah, well, or I need something to say, because you never, sometimes you don't know what to say or how to say it or... You write it yourself. I would write I it myself. He's hacked. <laughs> but I would get Hiring help. AI. Yes, I'm sorry, Christy. How yes, was your please. Valentine's Day, It Greg? was just super duper. It was great. Really? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I bought a balloon for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lovely. Yeah, yeah, nice right. What do we got coming up next? Easter? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, well, that's coming up, you right? You can't skip St. Patrick's Another too. balloon? Oh. <laughs> you know what's so nice about Easter? What? You know, we, I always like to uh, hide eggs for my my little brother. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't you wonder how old he is, Chick? I do. How, <laughs> how old? He's brother. 54. That was the joke. <laughs> Real hope and Crosby over here. <laughs> I blame myself. There's no doubt about it. Well, that was my fault. She that was totally my fault. <laughs> I don't use a physician's assistant. I use a magician's assistant. Oh, <laughs> saves a little cash. A little tip here and there for you people. <laughs> a life hack. What is it, Friday? <laughs> <laughs> It is Friday, Friday, baby. Come on, everyone. Look like you're in the weeds when you walk around work. Don't start telling jokes. Mm. You know, I had a corporate job. I had a clip-on tie that used to squirt. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll invent what I did, the one-man layoff. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, they're We're downsizing off. you. Yeah, no. yeah. How many did they land off? One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you got to walk around with your cactus in a box out the front door. <laughs> <It's> embarrassing. <laughs> did you ever have a cubicle-type yeah, job? Yeah, I had a cubicle. Yeah, I don't know what my job was. Yeah. How long? Yeah. were you in that place? Two years. Okay. No kidding. <laughs> that seems like a long time. Yeah, it was a long time. Wow. Did you dress up the cubicle to make it feel like home? Put a little cat hanging in there, post yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Did but you it wear was a suit <laughs> and a tie every day? Oh, yeah, I put on a tie. Yeah, sure, I showed up at When work. I met you in Florida, did you have a job then? Or just no, doing... no, no, I did comedy. I was doing comedy then. Full time? I was full comedy? time. You believe that? I do. That you were good right yeah. off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Godwin, legend in comedy. What was your first stand-up? I mean, what made you do this? Uh, it beats working. Well, that's... A guy came to my college and bombed, and they paid him 10 grand. I thought I could do that for half price, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. And he left in a car. He's all happy as yeah. if things went well. He got one laugh, and the car was full of girls. I thought, this guy's onto something, you know? <laughs> car was full of girls. Car was full of girls. <laughs> He yeah. did not forget that part. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And then they're like, hey, you have a job. Hey! Okay. Here he is with his joke. Somebody called an audible. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh, that story needed a running start. Yeah, right? <laughs> not a joke, but uh, last night I was making out with the... Wait a minute. You're saying this is not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a glimpse into my life. Okay. okay. Last night I'm making out with a little woman <laughs> on, on the couch. Yes. And she said, you want to take this upstairs? I said... <laughs> Hell yeah, you grab one in, I'll grab the other. <laughs>
The couch. Couch. Yeah. Oh. Couch. Yeah. <laughs> the couch. That took me, the couch. I'm an idiot. That took me 10 seconds. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. good joke. Joke of the day sponsored by Sleep Number. Save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com. Thank you, Ace. How about a meal for this weekend, Christy? What how do you got coming it? up? Well, how about Hello Fresh? Well, you get delicious comfort food at a price you'll love, and it's delivered right to your door. That's right. You don't want to go out in the snow, check local listings. If you have to drive and get groceries, no, HelloFresh will be there. They have 45 recipes every week that you can choose from. And before you want to call for delivery, think about this. HelloFresh, 25% cheaper than takeout, and you could get it delivered. No, you can make it quicker than it can be delivered. That's right. Just choose your recipe, select a delivery date for your box of HelloFresh. They'll handle all the meal planning, all the shopping, give you all the ingredients so you can put on the table a wonderful dinner like like y'all check out the honey butter barbecue pork chops with mashed sweet potatoes and lemony green beans hello fresh sends you eight ingredients put those together in six easy steps in just over a half hour you have this delicious dish that you made at home with help from hello fresh thank you hello fresh for sending us those free meals to try you can try it too warm up your chilly mornings with that free breakfast you heard me right you get free breakfast for a life while your subscription is active how do i do that christy well join hello fresh today you'll get your free breakfast for life with the code BT show free at hellofresh.com slash BT show free. That's one free breakfast item per box with an active subscription. Just use the code BT show free at hellofresh.com slash BT show free. That's hellofresh.com slash BT show free. Pat, we got a song coming up? You sure do. You're darn right you do. And Christy, we got news coming up? Yeah, we have a landslide store. We have moths in the news and we have a couple of, uh, we have a forklift in the news too. Moths freak me out. Did you guys know that? I did not I, know no. that. I'm terrified of moths. Oh, you Especially probably didn't bigger, like Mothman then. The bigger and the uglier they are and it looks like they had two eyes on oh, their yeah. backs. No, thank you. Well, I have a birthday present to return. <laughs> well, I guess you do. <laughs> and we will return. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I always heard that his herb was top shelf. <laughs> I just could not wait to find out for myself. <laughs> Don't knock it till you've tried it. Well, I've tried it, my friend. And I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. <laughs> I learned a hard lesson in a small Texas town. He fired up a fat boy and he passed him around. <laughs> the last words I spoke before they took me in. <laughs> I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. I'll never, never smoke, smoke weed with Willie again. My party's all over before it began. <laughs> you can pour me some old whiskey river, my friend. But I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. <laughs> 
hopped on his old bus, the Honeysuckle Road. The party was Vegas, it was after the show. Alone in the front lounge, just me and him. With one parting puff, Grim Creeper sat in. <laughs> I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. My party's all over before it began. You can pour me some old whiskey river, my friend. But I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. Now we're passing the guitar, telling good jokes. I know one's a coming, cause I'm smelling smoke. <laughs> no, I do not partake, I just let it pass by. With a smile on my face and a great contact high. <laughs> I'll never smoke weed, will it? some old whiskey river my friend but i'll never smoke weed with willie again in the fetal position <laughs> with drool on my chin <laughs> i messed up and Hello again, everybody. I'm Phil Mondor, and <laughs> welcome to America's most concise interview show, Three Questions With, the exciting, fast-paced interview show where we ask three pertinent questions to today's biggest newsmakers. Wow. My guest today is presidential hopeful Ralph Nader. <laughs> welcome to the show, Mr. Nader. I see that you're sitting and ready to go forward with the interview. Uh, are, are you comfortable, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Phil. Didn't have any problems finding the studio, did you? No, no problems at all, Phil. Good, good. So, uh, are you ready to begin? Yes. Thanks for being here. <laughs> this has been Three Questions With. Join us next week for Three Questions With Osama Bin Laden. That's it. Good morning, Sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Uh, Tom Simmons is our guest. You were, I understand you've been to Afghanistan, I assume, on, on one of the uh, USO-type tours. Yeah, the comics on duty. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, good yeah. for you. Afghanistan is desolate, man. Everything is dirt. Every building, every structure is like dirt. We don't need satellite guided bombs. We just should drop water balloons. That muddy. Turn that place into mud and farmland, and it'll be great. Have you run this strategic idea by the people at the Pentagon? Yeah, it'd save us a lot of money. This is positively launching a massive hydro attack. What we're gonna do? All these fire bombs are merely drawing it out. Morning, Bob and Tom show. Good morning. How you guys doing? Fine. We're a little stunned, but we're okay. Uh, I got one for you. I was telling him uh, when I was in a service in Germany, I hooked up with another service member, and uh, she said, uh, "Choke me, you dirty bastard! I'm going to go like a freight train." Write that down, chick. Choke me, you, you dirty bastard! bastard I'm gonna go like, like a, a freight train. train. All right, I like the looks of that. <laughs> yes, I like that very much. Oh my. Yeah, she was kind of weird. She used to like me to choke her with uh, that rubber surgical tubing. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a little work, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, that, oh, that takes a little work. Yeah, now, I think that's probably to stop her from farting, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with us in the studio, comedian Chad Daniels. Your wife is a college professor. Yes. Are you a college man? No. Oh. That's that makes for interesting yeah, it does. contrast. Uh huh. And her friends uh, always remind me of it. Oh really? Oh really? Are they all college professors as well? Most of them. Mm -hmm. We were out getting dinner one night, and her friends were like, "So Chad, have you ever had Indian food?" And I was like, "Hello, Thanksgiving." <laughs> Aren't you not a history so professor? Yeah. Didn't you know that? She has one friend from England that's always bragging about their language. We invented your language. You didn't have a language if it wasn't for us. Well, you spelled pneumonia with a P, stupid. <laughs> Nat starts with a G, and you're bragging about that. And she goes, "You know what? They're silent. You know what? You better be silent before I stab you in your face with a." <laughs> this is Jimmy Pardo. You knows. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Tom has taken a couple of days of vacation. Pat Godwin and Willie Griswold has joined us. Yo. Uh, Christie's there. Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Ace Cosby. I'm Chick. And our special guest, Greg Hahn. Oh, such a party today. Thanks, oh, Chick. Oh, man. He's in Nashville, Indiana, tomorrow night at the Brown County Playhouse. Sure, nice. Then next weekend at Newcastle, Indiana, at the Castle Theater. 
Then uh, March 2nd, Tiffin, Ohio at the Ritz. March 8th, Traverse City, Michigan at the Opera House. March 9th in Kokomo, Indiana at Kokomo Theater. Then March 13th through the 16th in uh, Port Charlotte, Florida. Oh, that's a blast. Is yes. that your ho- is that your home hometown? No, I'm in, I'm in the Pompano Penthouse. Uh, the Pompano <laughs> Penthouse. And then, ladies and gentlemen, March 18th through the 24th, He's at the Tropicana in Vegas. Come on, let's get yes. married and have we breakfast. We should all go to that. I, 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 I can't uh, come up with an excuse not to go. Yeah. We've got to go. we got to no, go. That would be fun. That would be too fun. That would be, it would be so fun. Yeah. A weekend in Vegas? Do you have a game? you have a game in Vegas you like? You, uh, Willie just got back from Vegas. Yeah. I did. I yeah. love it. I was playing roulette. Me and Noah were out on the tables. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Do you have did, a favorite number, or do you bet just red or black? Or I you... always bet black. I go even. I go lower third. I go one through 18. Oh. My oh. big bet is always four and eight. It is my birthday, April 8th, and I like to play the corner on that, so I get four <laughs> and eight. How wow. Exciting. Oh, that's good. Wow. Wow. Willie, I'm, black an, I'm an outside guy myself. There we go. Look at me and Ace. A couple yeah. outsiders. Huh. What game but, are you talking about? Roulette, my friend. All right, okay. Ace, I'm all over it. Ace always bets black, right? I do read occasionally. Isn't that uh, Wesley Snipes? Yeah, that's Passenger that's 50, movie, yeah. 57. Yeah. I was in that movie, baby. You were not. I was in Passenger 50. I was Passenger 58. <laughs> so close to making it big. Ah, on the cutting room floor. Oh, man, man. What a shame. I was in Maroon 6. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christy, what's going on over there? Oh, a massive landslide on a coastal bluff in Southern California has left a mansion teetering on the edge of a cliff. The slide occurred last week in the city of Dana Point following back-to-back storms. After the site was assessed by the city's building inspector and geotechnical engineer, officials said the Ocean View home and neighboring residences are not in immediate danger. <laughs> it's easy for them to say they don't have to live there. Officials said in a statement, at this point, the city has deemed that no additional action is necessary. You just don't want to have everybody on one side of the house. <laughs> <laughs> How could it be teetering if, if, it's, if there's no big deal? Exactly. It's teetering, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You missed it earlier. My nephew is supposed to get married this September, and they got a call yesterday there wedding chapel place fell into the sea yesterday because of these landslides hmm. <laughs> sign, you might want to take a look at that don't you uh, aren't you uh, beach, aren't you beachfront what is it yeah i'm, yeah, I'm beach is there a joke <laughs> no there's a beachfront and things are sliding into the ocean yeah. yeah have you taken a look at this i'm on the intercoastal though chick well i'm just saying you could still Close to the ocean. fall into a <laughs> body of water <laughs> you can slide man okay. do you have a boat did you buy a boat no i got no boat no boat. No, uh, no, no. I'll uh, rent a jet ski and put a girl on the back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drive up and down the intercoastal. Is that right? Are there rules for jet skis and stuff? <laughs> no, no rules. No. That's, the, <laughs> no. that's the best part. It's the Wild West out there. Yeah. Josh has some jet skis. Do you? He'll take yeah. you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, near a lake or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy smokes. I don't know how we could get... The lake doesn't... Uh, the Lake of the Ozarks doesn't touch the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, sure it does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You get in the thing and you gun it, right? Isn't that how you do a jet ski? Like, yeah, is there man. some type of class I got to take? You, uh, no. No, we just took a quick training thing with the guys who sold it to me. Yeah. The, the uh, shop. All right. Couple of bush lights. You're ready to yeah, go. If you hit something, <laughs> you fly off the thing. You don't you hit, can. You yeah. don't hit your teeth on anything, do you? Uh, no, I mean, you'll fly back mostly. Mm. Yeah. Tipping right. them over is not fun. We're don't do that. Up. Doing what? What is? Tipping it over because trying to get it back up. Yeah. yeah not... Getting on a jet ski in the middle of the ocean is it's not easy. Not easy. Yeah, mine have ladders that come out and, uh, and down, so you, you'll be okay. Wow. Okay. And now do it they is... really? Now yeah. they have that? Mm hmm. And you don't wow. even have to take a class. You can just watch a YouTube video. Mm. I like to watch Motley Crue videos. It gets me really pumped up before I get on that chest. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fun. Girls, girls, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. girls. It gets me real trained and ready to go. All trained up. They're fun. All right. What are you paying for a jet ski nowadays? Did well, I bought shoes? I bought two of them. Are they yeah. brand new? You bought two of them. Two. I bought two new, yes. You and... What? Uh, wow. You got jet ski money over there? You, I, got, I, uh, I, you have jet I literally, for the old lady? If there becomes one, the old lady's got her own jet ski? <laughs> I, li- I literally saved up for like eight years. Uh-huh. And, uh, do you have your name spray uh, spray paint on the front? The jaw in the, no, the, the no. t-shirt carnival Josh font. Question mark? One's red and, and like white, and the other one's blue and white. No, mm-hmm. why'd you get two? Uh, so that two people, because I have four, I have three brothers, and then we have a bunch of nieces. I have a bunch of nieces and nephews. And okay, stuff. So, so, so that two people could always fun. go out and Where have fun. Where do you store yeah. these? At my brother's, right now they're oh. at the Yamaha, the Sir Dyke Yamaha in the Lake of the Ozarks. Oh, okay. And yeah. if you're nice. out there, folks, you need to grab one of these things and airbrush it to say Josh in the front. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want that thing to look like you bought it at a fair in Charleston. I want it to look real nice. <laughs>
Yeah, they're they're fun. I, but it was one of those things where I was like, I'm going to save up and get these. And after like eight years, uh, it happened. Good for you. Yeah. That's an so, awesome story. I had a little, hmm. little. Can you put a girl on the back? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? And I also got these little chairs that you can attach to the back and you can fish off of them if you want. Wow. What? So you can kind of stop the thing. Ski. Boy, jet skis have come a long way it's since great. So, oh, yeah. the 90s. Man. Yeah. They're good fun. Yeah. It's like a big motorcycle. Yes. But you can't really so much get hurt. It's a well, motorcycle. Huh? I, I cracked a rev flying off one at 55 miles an hour. You can yeah. get hurt. Oh, Oscar really did have a, he had a gigantic bruise. On yeah, the I, I messed myself up pretty yeah. bad. With the human spirit, anything is truly possible. Yes. I, yes. I, I persevered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can tell people. You can, uh, you want to go sure tubing or whatever? Sure yeah. you can. Really? Tubing? Yeah. I, I have photos. I don't <laughs> think you <laughs> can. People. How yeah. fast does it go? Uh, the ones I got. 120, uh, 130? About <laughs> yeah. 55 is the the max. 55? That's yeah. wild. Oh, but you yeah. can also set a governor on there, so if you want to go. Uh, you don't want no governor? <laughs> nah. Might be, might you want right 55? <laughs> well, sometimes you don't. No. <laughs> you get, and on the chop, it can get a little scary. Yeah. On the chop? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so <laughs> you control it with your hand, don't you? You do control yeah, well, it. Okay, I'll slow down a little bit on the chop. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you can you can you can control how fast or how slow you're going, yeah, right? Right. You yes, but you sometimes you because when you're going, yeah, 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 you control it by squeezing the obviously like a motor. But right. if you're going too fast and hanging on tight, you're accidentally going faster because right. you're hanging on tight. Uh -huh. So you mm. want a governor to make sure you're not, you know. Wait, no, no, no. You just got to be a cool cat. <laughs> That's what I do. But uh, take it easy out there. Yeah, it sounds if like you have a, if you have a girl in the back, I don't think you want. I think you want the governor, man. No, I don't want the governor. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and and she needs to be wearing neoprene, like, bathing stuff, because... What, the, we're going to wipe out? Well... What's neoprene? Uh, the fabric that'll keep... Uh, like they... Like a, um, you don't... Like a, surfers wear? You can, like you can damage... Uh, you can damage Orify like yeah. by flying into the water. Yeah. All, All right. right. She'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Josh, well, it's not anything that you won't be doing later. <laughs> Josh, I found that uh, putting the woman on the front instead of the back is an even more fun ride on the jet ski. Oh, really? Yeah. You let her tow you. You, oh. you get on the back. Oh, you reach around par. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. What? You, what, you sit behind You're, her and yeah. she drives? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's driving the okay. boat so or like You're behind lap. her, mm. bouncing along. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> are we going uh, to come back with some news, Christy? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll think about that while we're gone. Yeah, we do have some. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life, and I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. Ah, uh, we know all about stupid, not so much about the cool part. Hey, don't forget about the laughter after the Bob and Tom show. It's Bob and Tom's work farce. All the fun without really that much effort. Keep that smile going all day. Oh, and you have a beautiful smile. Keep your coworkers guessing what's making you so happy. It's us here on Bob and Tom Radio. We're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including today. It's Friday, February 16th. Thanks for getting up early and joining us here on Bob and Tom Radio. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom Entertainment News Update. Post Malone has a role in the remake of the movie Roadhouse. Details of that role were not given, but his credits are under his given name, Austin Post. You can look for that if you choose to watch it on Amazon Prime starting March 21st. I, for one, will not. 
A documentary about Nickelback will have a theater run for two days only, March 27th and 30th. Hate to Love Nickelback premiered last September at the Toronto International Film Festival. The film not only looks at their rise to fame, but the personal impact that online hate had on the band members. And the next musician to open a bar in Nashville's Lower Broadway District will be Morgan Wallen. He plans to open a six-story bar, restaurant, and performance space called This Bar and Tennessee Kitchen later this year. And Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, Chris Hemsworth, and Zendaya will join Ann Wintour as co-chairs of this year's Met Gala. This year's Met Gala will be May 6th, and the dress code, the Garden of Time, whatever the hell that means. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Did you pick out those glasses? No. Do you wear them in the uh, in the intimate moments? Are you? Uh, I think we just learned he doesn't. It might wow. interfere Change with the, the CPAP whole... mask. <laughs> <laughs> Never for laughs put that over her boob. <laughs> You ever done that? Little sea tat? <laughs> I think we're uh, ready to. I think her dad's listening. To, uh, a little ready to... Her dad listens? Yes. Uh, right. Oh, uh, then I'm, I'm glad I went with boob because that was not my first idea. Uh, broadcast people. That's CPAP indeed. Oh, boy. I leave here every day in trouble. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. You know us. We're Amish Bell. No poles, no wires, no phones, no nonsense, <laughs> no shiny objects. That's Amish Bell. And now, new from Amish Bell, call waiting. <laughs> Hello, Greba. How's the farm? Good, Carl. Good to see you. Do you... Oh, wait a minute, Carl. I see Fritz is here waiting to talk with me. <laughs> okay, Graber. I'll just stand here and wait. Hi, Fritz. I'm talking to Carl right now. Can you wait for a moment? You're fine, Graber. I'll just stand here. <laughs> okay, Carl. Now, there will be. Call waiting. Another new world of convenience from the old world mines at Amish Bell. Remember, we take Visa, quilts, and cheese. Amish Bell. <laughs> Leading you into the 19th century. <laughs> Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the man song. He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> I don't take no crap from anybody else but you. <laughs> I wear the pants around here when I finish with your laundry. Because <laughs> I'm a guy you don't want to fight. When I say jump, you say yeah, right. <laughs> I'm the man of this house until you get home. <laughs> He's the man. He's the man. What I say goes around here right out the window. <laughs> And I don't want to hear a lot of whining, so I'll shut up. <laughs> the sooner you learn who's boss around here, the sooner you can give me my orders, dear. Because I'm head honcho around here, but it's all in my head. He's the man. He's the man. And I can have sex any time that you want. Because I'm a man who has needs, but they're not that important. <laughs> And don't expect any flowers from me, because if I'm not mistaken, you prefer jewelry. <laughs> I'm the king of my castle when you're not around. He's the man. He's the man. And I'll drink and watch sports whenever I want to get in trouble. <laughs> and I'll come home when I'm good and ready to sleep on the couch. Because <laughs> a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And I'm going to do what you tell me to. Because I'm top dog around here, but I've been neutered. He's the man. He's the man. You the man. Lord Coretta's a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah. You know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera in my rectum. <laughs> wow. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from him. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Todd. And I am. 
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. Got a song here, Pat? Ready to go. Yeah, he's Good. ready to go. There's Willie Griswold. Need you, buddy. What's up, dude? He's back in the house. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. Jeff Oskey joins us. Hello. And Tom Griswold is on vacation, taking a couple of days and having fun. Yeah, it's good for him. We're proud of him. And uh, as soon as he choose his way through the restraints, he'll be back, I'm guessing, about Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Greg Hahn's also here. Hey, I'll be doing shows, and I don't sign T-shirts. I don't sell them, but I'll sign whatever you're wearing. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm Chick McGee, and... Uh, are we back to the news, Dad? Pat, if you play a song for us, just make sure you don't do the one that gets you in trouble with your lady. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson yet? Oh. You mean um, this one? Oh, boy. Oh, oh, Pat. Got a gal named Paula. Paula O'Brien is her name. She's very intoxicating. I'm like a moth to a flame. I haven't had a drink in 15 years. I walk a very straight line. But if Paula O'Brien's boobs were booze, I'd be loaded all of the time. <laughs> oh, I've never been a boob man. And I don't mean to objectify. It's important I stay sober. Heaven knows I try. I go to my AA meetings, but all I think about are her double Ds. <laughs> Paul O'Brien's boobs were booze. I'd wake up with the DT. <laughs> Paula's boobs were booze. Oh, I bet bomb every day. If her rack was full of wine, I'd go from tea total to sommelier. <laughs> Tatas were Tito's, and I had me a sip. I'd fall off the wagon with one little nip. <laughs> if her chichis were full of tequila, I'd lick the salt and squeeze those limes. If Paul O'Brien's boobs were booze, I'd be faced all of the time. <laughs> if Paul O'Brien's boobs were booze, I'd be loaded all of the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a flattering song. I don't know why. I don't know be. why I'm getting in trouble every yeah, time I sing I enjoyed it. that. Your phone just went off. Who's <laughs> your real name? Chee Cheese. You che call them every now and again, yeah, huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, let me see those Chee Cheese. <laughs> that always works. <laughs> Greg, huh, what's your favorite euphemism for the breasts? What does euphemism mean? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Pat mentioned a moth to a flame. That's a you know famous uh, saying. We've all heard that. Apparently, new research reveals moths are not actually drawn to flame. Real quick, Krista, you're playing with your hair like you have a crush on somebody in the room. <laughs> I play with my hair all the time. I didn't. I've never noticed you playing really? it like oh, that. Really? Oh, yeah. She's like pulling yeah. uh, oh, one no, side I've and uh, uh, stroking girly. it down. Just like a man, not I, noticing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I play with my hair all the time. It's very yeah. endearing. Uh, you play with it more when certain people are around. <laughs> <laughs> I watch your camera all day, every day. I know, your, I know your tells, Miss Lee. Really? Huh. So you think I'm flirting with Josh right now? Yeah. I'm not saying who you're flirting with. I'm just saying you're flirting. Using motion capture cameras and infrared illumination, scientists observed that when moths flew around a light source, they were tilting their backs toward the light. Hmm. When artificial light does not interfere, nocturnal insects keep their backs pointed toward whatever direction is brightest, typically the sky versus the ground, to keep them level while flying. So they think it's not necessarily the light that their like eyes are attracted to and they're going towards. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like other... their butt, if they have uh, a butt. Do moths have a butt? Do we need moths? Yes, no, I don't think so. No. I think that, I, I, you finally convinced me on the bee thing. That's fine. I guess, <laughs> <laughs> but this moth thing doesn't seem like that's anything. The artificial light they think is the sky. We so should get rid of all the moths. They're, become, they're awful. How they're else, very important. How else am I gonna get beautiful. holes in my sweaters? That Jack? can't yeah. be. They, they can't, see. They eat our clothing. What <laughs> other? <laughs> what are they, Josh? Are they lizard food? Is that it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Spiders the, and Chick uh, brings up a good point. No, they're very important you. to the ecosystem. What do you they get, do? Uh, it, there's studies have shown that if you get rid of moths in two years, uh -huh. uh, humans will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a reader of books. <laughs> Every animal serves a purpose, Chick. You can't uh, yes. just take sure? them away. You can't tell me that. I 
cat has any use at all. Oh. Yeah. What are llamas up to? You can't tell me they're doing anything. They don't do nothing. They just look hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Llamas oh. actually help till the ground of many. <laughs> I don't even get through that BS. <laughs> you, have you ever caught a moth, chick? No, they freak me out. I they, told you that they oh, scare me. I catch me. them all the time, throw them back outside. And yeah. then your hands they scare you. Hands are real dusty. Yes. Growing yeah. up, yes. you wouldn't know this, Han, but growing up in the Midwest, they land on your uh, screen door. Yes, they do. And we all have screen doors because uh, we're hillbillies. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> and as big, big as your hand, there's this thing on your screen door. And it's like, what the hell is that? You get some spray. It's a good time. Spray yeah. <laughs> it. Now, Jake, when you were a kid, did the uh, Godzilla versus Mothra scare you? Um, no, that was all right. What yeah. was that Mothman movie in West Virginia? Oh, I like that movie, too. The yeah. Mothman but he doesn't look like yeah. a moth. He looks like a guy or a weird guy with wings. I don't bother. That yeah, doesn't it doesn't matter. bother you? <laughs> okay. no, Wouldn't you love to be a bug man, though, Chick? Wouldn't it be fun to be a bug man? You're in combat every day. Got to bring the right stuff. Is that called Is that called a, is that, is that a bug man? Yeah, you show up with your big van with the antennas coming out of it. I didn't know. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? You don't want to bring uh, Ant uh, Roach to a wasp fight. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> He's right. I didn't know that was a bug man. I'd like to get that I think you make a good bugman. I, I like uh, I, love I like the tick. I know that. Mm. Yeah. You could be a good exterminator, Greg. Yeah. That'd be a great time. Yeah, walk root through like uh roofs and whatnot. <laughs> Alex yeah. with your light on your on your helmet he's, looking for something. He's, he's just screaming at crickets. Get out of here! Yeah. What are you doing in here? We don't need you in here. Get out of here. Huh. Is there any bug that scares you, Greg? No, I like bugs, you know. Yeah. But if they're fun to kill, I mean if people want them dead. <laughs> Would you eat a bug? <laughs> You're They're happy fun. to do it. <laughs> you guys couldn't eat bugs, though, right? You wouldn't eat a bug. We had crickets have, in here yeah. that time, remember? Yeah, but they were all ground up and yeah. didn't know they were, you know, like pull their legs apart and then eat no, their heads. No, you don't want to eat bugs. Yeah, no, don't we, we don't. all, like, ingest, like, 15 pounds of spiders a no. year? No, Isn't that, that that's actually been debunked. Yeah. 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 As, As a matter of fact, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Get those goofy facts out of here, Jeff. <laughs> a woman in Florida gave birth in a lift ride under a highway overpass in Miami. Uh, WSVN, do you want to play? Channel 7, maybe? There yeah. you go. Yeah. Reports. <laughs> I asked first. I know. What if Reports. it was Channel Sven? What would that, smell? What would that sound Let's like? Let's go to the news. <laughs> I'm Stan. There's a lady giving a birth to a baby in a, in a lift. Hello? That's, yep, that's right. The mother called a lift ride after going into labor, told the driver to take her to the hospital. The driver said he knew they would not make it. I knew it. And instead, <laughs> and instead pulled over under an I-95 overpass. The woman called her cousin, who rushed over to where the rideshare SUV had parked and called 911. The woman's cousin helped deliver the baby girl in the vehicle while they waited for authorities to arrive. There were no problems during transport to the hospital. Both patients are doing well. I don't know if they had to buy the lift guy a new car or not, but yeah. yeah. Can you imagine a... cleaning that up? Dude, that uh. baby is screwed. You think so? Yeah. Dad's not around to drive him to the hospital, and they can only afford a lift. <laughs> like, you can't even afford Uber. <laughs> oh. oh, that kid is damned. <laughs> is Lyft... <laughs> Is I'm not trying to like analyze your joke to death, but is Lyft typically <laughs> cheaper up? than yes. Uber? Yes. Uh -huh. I had no idea. So, I right? didn't know that. Uh, like I, I use both, and let's put it this way: like uh, your Uber shows up, and uh, the last lift I had uh, had a child in the front seat, and I just hoped it was the driver's. <laughs> That's, oh. Yeah, the kid like, turns around and goes, "Sometimes they keep you." <laughs> <laughs> what, Jeff? Do you ever call a Lyft and an Uber, and then one gets there first, and then the other guy pulls up, and you go, "Be faster next time." Oh, they yeah. love it when you do that. Race. They love it when you do that. It's oh, really I Oh, that's a good game. Capitalism. Fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> make it worth it. <laughs> Don't you make DoorDash drivers uh, race? Have no, you, not yet, but I will this <laughs> afternoon. That sounds like a great idea. Whoever gets there first. <laughs> Hmm. And then the worst that could happen is you end up with a double order. Exactly. Oh, what so do you yeah. order? I don't know how, like, if DoorDash, like, if you want something from one place and something from another place, does one DoorDash guy go to both places? or Well, do you, have to... you can uh, double DoorDash. What? A you double door dash. dash. Double dash. Really? They'll send you a little oh, yeah. thing and say, hey, you wanted to get chicken wings. There's an ice cream store on the way to your house. Do you want ice cream, too? Oh, yeah. They, they all go, yes. they oh, go through really? the whole thing. Oh, I've yeah. never actually done it, but you guys have. Upselling. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know what's better than that? You go to the grocery store at 1 in the morning, get some of that scratch and dent food. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Some yes. pork shoulder, Boston right. shoulder pork butt. You get like half a rack right? of ribs for three ninety nine. Eighty 80% off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lightly stepped on. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Sometimes you see the tread of the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's even better? What? Popeye's chicken wings. Oh. Did you guys know Popeye's have chicken wings now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They're much better than Popeye's. Willie, Popeye's has chicken wings. They have my favorite buffalo sauce in the market. I'm familiar. <laughs> After 52 long years, it's finally happened. That's right. Popeye's fans everywhere experience the perfect pairing. The big game, a Popeye's commercial during the big game. Oh, did you see it? A uh, friend of the show, Ken Jong, is... Uh, <laughs> Shut up, Tom. You're not here. <laughs> and Popeye's new lineup of wings, Josh. Uh, what are those flavors? Sweet and spicy, ghost pepper, signature hot, honey barbecue, and roasted garlic parmesan. Ooh. Sure, wings and football go hand in hand, but now that football's over for a while, what else can you do with those wings? Uh, chick? <laughs> Well, life is very little has very little to offer because football's <laughs> over. But still, you can. Uh, we well, got the NBA All Star Game this weekend. Uh, tennis, baseball, pickleball, wall ball, high lie. You your your cousin's uh, cornhole tournament. <laughs> yes, Ace told me the Blue Blood starts again tonight. Yes, I may sit at home and eat my wings and watch a little Tom Selleck. Have yeah. some Popeye's chicken wings with that. Why not? Right, Josh? Yes, take some wings to your next get-together, whatever it is. The point is, people love wings, and Popeye's has some terrific wings that you're really going to enjoy. Pick some up for your upcoming uh, whatever the heck. Whatever the heck it is, that's Popeye's chicken wings. We'll be back with news and Greg Hahn and something he calls a performance piece. It's supposed to be comedy, I guess. And, uh, and another song from Pat. Okay. Hot damn, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. I remember back when you were in school and suddenly the teacher wasn't there and it was a substitute coming in for the day. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. So we'll do this song about drunk sex. Huh? All right, that's okay. good. Well, Sweet. in that case, uh... <laughs> in the NFL.
Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. this stuff uh, I'm a little bit upset with Red Bull alcohol drinks I don't know why <laughs> drunks now need to have energy I can't <laughs> we just when yeah. that idiot just went away no but he has a little bit more spirit now I want to be mm -hmm. Chrissy you want to weigh in that's your new drink right <laughs> Red Bull and vodka no yeah. I drank it in Vegas just because it was because it was there huh? yeah and it was mm -hmm. five o'clock well the you morning. know we've got it here too I want to be fully awake when I'm vomiting behind a dumpster <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Getting tired of uh, people who give driving directions and include useless information. Oh, yeah. You know, you ask, okay, you're going to get, okay, you want to get to my house? Get on 39th. You're going to go by that Chevron station. Do you turn there? No, just go by it. Well, then don't bring it up. Don't bring up the Chevron. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> How do you get to your house? We you know the Home Depot is? Yeah. It's right next to the Arby's. Okay. Do you turn there? No, you're just going to see it. Well, <laughs> what am I running errands for you now? <laughs> I got this one the other day. You're going to see a water tower. Now, you're going to feel like you went too far. <laughs> Let's leave my feelings out of this, shall we? We don't have to gauge my emotional response when we're doing MapQuest. <laughs> I love this one. My driveway's on the right. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. You are going to miss it. You couldn't find my driveway if it was attached to your forehead. I'm, you're too stupid to get to my house, is essentially. Why don't you move to a less condescending address? Can you do that for me? <laughs> Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy, heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yes, sir. There we are. Pat Godwin's here and Josh Arnold. Hello. Jeff Oske. Yes, sir. Smiling ear to ear. Lording. Uh, he's, oh, he's, he's just lording. He's like four, six to four inches above all of us. <laughs> he's sitting where Tom normally sits. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold's here. What's up? Uh, Greg Hodge joined us. Hey, Chick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to be? Super duper duper successful. Okay. okay. And then I'll call the show and make no effort. <laughs> <laughs> you know how those guys call the show? Oh, sure. yeah. Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. Hey, say hello to say hello to super duper duper successful oh, yeah, Greg Hahn. Go ahead. Say hi. I'm on the phone. Yeah, we've uh, Oh, hi, hi super Greg. duper successful Greg Hahn. How are you? <clears throat> what's up, guys? Hey, so what's new, <laughs> what's new with your life? You dating? Uh, my car's in the shop. <laughs> His car's in the shop, sounds like. I might, I might go to Lowe's later. Yeah, you okay. going to go to Lowe's. Look, looking at stoves. Now, you're super <laughs> duper successful by, by doing yeah. really funny jokes, right? No, I don't. <laughs> I just up. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Oh, how do you like it? Hey, how do you like it so far? <laughs> That's what I've I like the poor Greg better. <laughs> yeah, right, poor Greg. Screams and yells. Yeah, I like the marginally yeah. successful. Yeah. I like penthouse Greg. Right, yeah, right. Penthouse, there you Greg. Go. Yeah, penthouse Greg doesn't really sound like hey, poor penthouse Bosco Greg. Roscoe Tanner had a great serve. <laughs> he did have a great That's serve. Right. <laughs> what? I don't know. Roscoe Tanner, uh, Roscoe tennis Tanner. player. He Hell was, of a serve. Uh, he, he was like a, a celebrity. <laughs> Knew I don't all remember him. Roscoe, Roscoe oh, man, Tanner. He had a wild John, serve in tennis. That's all John, he had. John McEnroe and uh, I think the Eagles were all buddies. Really? Back, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Roscoe Tanner was in How'd I miss out on that? Oh, no, you missed it. Hung on like How do you feel about long? the Roadhouse okay. remake, Greg? It sounds great. 
<laughs> what is that, a movie? <laughs> is that a cafe you I'm supposed totally to visit? totally disappointed me. I'm I ready to, what is sure. it, a fight movie? Yeah, oh, Patrick yeah. Swayze. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake, no, the yeah. new one has Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Hmm. I gotta say, Christy, I saw this trailer. It looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Post Malone apparently <laughs> oh. has a role in this remake. <laughs> You're wrong, Ash. You're wrong. Yeah. Details of his role were not given, but his credit is given as his real name, Austin Post. Of course, Jake Gyllenhaal does star in the movie as Dalton. It'll stream on Amazon Prime starting uh, starting on March 21st. I'm a purist. I like the old original well, Roadhouse. Will, will you give this one a shot? <sighs> I, I, I don't really want to. And I guess they made more money with it, they thought, and putting it right on Amazon than they did putting it in theaters. Is what okay. I, is what I read. Who's playing the Sam Elliott character? Do we know? It's actually Sam Elliott. It's just going to be Sam Elliott again. The then age, I'll watch. The age difference looks a little weird, <laughs> but the fight scenes are awesome. Does anybody <laughs> use my move, the reverse dishwasher? I invented it. <laughs> Does anybody get put in the parasite? How does the parasite, <laughs> invention? How does the parasite work? I don't know. Ah, come on. Put him in the dishwasher. Come on. <laughs> I was a fighter. You remember when I used to fight? No. What, what was your, hey, I fought that kid with the medic alert bracelet. <laughs> Nailed me in the forehead with a Zeppi pen. I tapped out, then my rash cleared up. <laughs> These are the jokes. Did you have a, a, a name when you fought? Or was the it Mangler, the... Strangler, Star Spangled Bangler? No, Come on. That's him. <laughs> I didn't know you were the Star Spangled Bangler. <laughs> yeah, you respect know, uh, the Bangler. Drew Hastings was going to be in uh, MMA, and he was going to call himself the Slapper. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Yeah. He would rear back. Oh, yeah, he'd slap you. He'd oh, he'd yeah. slap you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't they have slapping as like yes, a they do. thing? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever slap fight? You're, you're, you are a fight fan, Greg. Yeah, have like have you fights. seen the professional slapping? I don't I don't watch that one. I watch the UFC fights. I like yeah. the real fights. I like the jiu-jitsu from Brazil. Oh. <laughs> so does Giselle. Apparently, she's into jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah. Who are the brothers? I'm going to have Dijoux for lunch. Right? Gracie. Oh, good. with a... <laughs> oh, yeah, the Gracie brothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Duck sauce. They started, they perfected it. <laughs> yeah, they did. Was it what, what about that guy who has the bull haircut from uh, Ireland? Well, oh, Patty, Patty the Batty? Patty the Batty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You like him? Yeah, he just beat uh, Kukui. Yeah. Kukui, right? Kukui? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, he's great. He's good. There's Rocky Raccoon what in this kind of, uh, fight league. What? what kind of names are these? Patty the Bat. Yeah, Patty the Batty is... Uh... Kukui? What is Kukui? What, what, what's that mean? What's that mean? Somebody knows. Come on. It's the nightmare. It's the something. There's a word for that. Come for, on, anybody? Any fight fans out there? Mm. Kukui? Yeah. Come any, on. I'll come up with it in a second. Uh, yeah. Anyways, the fights are great. I love them. Sorry, <laughs> I had an issue at home. I have to do it. Um, oh. Hey. <laughs> You know what? You keep it at home, too. I don't... Really? Really? Uh, yes. Okay. I, uh, that's why I got the 85-inch TV. Yeah. Not to that? watch the fights, to be in the fights. Yeah. You know? yeah. It'd be great to be a, like a ring announcer, you know, the, the guy that gets everyone excited. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. That'd be a great job, wouldn't it? Or the, in the UFC, they go, it's time. Oh. I want to come out. Mine's going to be, this fight's going to be pretty good. <laughs> That'll get you pumped up. I'll work on it. Yeah. I'll I like that it. very much. Like you need the Apple goggles, you know, yeah. the new, where you're So you can yeah. watch the so TV. Be in yeah. in the fight. Yes. Would that be cool? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I would watch Greg Hahn VR MMA for two weeks straight. Would oh, yeah. It'd be so fun to it watch. It would be fun. You know, I took classes. One one kid, I did fight a kid who was who was a pro. He was like 6-0 and o from <laughs> South America. And he grabbed my arm and I tapped. <laughs> yeah, I'm just just on the grip. Yeah. Just the grip. I tapped. <laughs> and he looked at me all confused. I said, I didn't like the, where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> it was a true story. Tap early, tap often. Yeah. Yeah. That's my motto. You know what? I don't blame you at all. Yeah. <laughs> there was a point on the comedy tour where you couldn't say hello to Greg with Without him demonstrating and explaining right. to you what his move was going to be when he gets in the ring. Right. Well, what I'll do then, I'll kick you in the in the leg. Hold still, and I'll kick you. <laughs> yeah. that, all I said was, "Hey, how's it going, yeah. Greg?" Yeah. yeah. I got put in an arm bar once, and I was like, "I right. can't stand it." Yeah, you have. Well, of course you can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's you know who would be? Bar? You know who would be a good um, 
uh, MMA fighters, Greg Warren. I think he no, would no do. No kidding. I well, think he would be wrestler. okay. Yes. Uh, well, they're all uh, old wrestlers, I guess. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. A lot of them. Most of them. Hmm. Huh. All of them. Uh, yeah, he'd be able to hold his own, I think. I, are you kidding me? I tried to I attack Warren in a green room, and he, he looked at me. You know, he gave me a look. Like, don't. I don't play. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a real guy. Like, yeah. You know? So I just kind of walked away quiet. But he has that sweet, innocent face. Like, he couldn't yeah. hit you or anything. Uh, yes. No, he would, he would, he would, you would, you know what, in my case, yeah. I'd be in the air real fast, like he'd pick me up, right. and I would just be looking around, trying to figure out where I'm going to land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, where he's going to slam my head. <laughs> yeah, he'd slam you down, and then some wow. horrible stuff, choke. And nice. then, could you imagine you the last up. thing, you get choked out, and the last thing you see are Greg Warren's baby blues just <laughs> staring <laughs> back at you, Ooh. letting you know you messed up. Yeah, I told you, I told you, I don't play. The Pat worst the worst movie does is he, uh, he, pin he throws you in the air, slams you down on the ground, pins you, and then he does Flute Man. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have to sit yeah, there and the take long it. Version. <laughs> yes. You got no neck. No neck neck. Yeah, yeah you, we know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. All right, Greg. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. State's over there with no drink in two hours. Pat, you got Pat, you got one more song over there? Yeah, we started off the show with a Sasquatch talk. We had the movie coming out. Yes. Sasquatch, Sasquatch Sunset. Sunset. Yes. And of course we have an officiando officiando in the uh, Yes, uh, I am a I like to believe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so I have a song for Joshy. I thought Josh didn't believe in fairy tales. Sasquatch is for some, but not for me. He watches documentaries. Hey, 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 hey. Bigfoot books he reads. Hey, 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 hey. The video is grainy, he concedes. But he said he saw its face. <laughs> He's a Bigfoot believer. <laughs> not a trace of facts to Josh find. But poor Josh, oh. He's a Bigfoot believer. It's probably a big beaver left those tracks. <laughs> <laughs> he said he saw it. Hey, 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 hey. He's a Bigfoot believer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, listen to that. That's a, that's a, an actual howl from uh, Sasquatch there. Oh, yeah. Thing. On a plastic green toy. Yeah, which, <laughs> no, it's a recorded... <laughs> <laughs> it's a cryptozoological recording device. And, is that uh, right? That's right, yes. What else <laughs> you got on there? There's other options. So that was howl. You want to hear snort? Sure. Yeah. This yeah. is the, a real Sasquatch snorting. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's like a chihuahua. Scary. That is definitive... <laughs> That's defend either that or my Australian Shepherd. I'm not sure what. Now here he is roaring. That now like you can tell growl. he's not. He's yeah, yeah. The person who captured that is no longer with us. Oh, oh. I'm sorry to hear that. And now here's a groan, a groan. Oh, oh that... some indigestion or something. <laughs> so thank you uh, oh. to the brave men who acquired these sounds. Are you a Sasquatch uh, searcher? Oh. I don't. I've never Are actually gone it? out and looked. No, I've never hunted. But you believe they're around? I think they're out there. No, yes. you're not. Uh, really? I do. I mean, it's fun <laughs> to find a guy like you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You don't believe. There's no Sasquatch at all, but you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, with all, with the, all the evidence out there, you've looked at it all and said, no, not, not happening. I've looked at none of it. <laughs> <That's> the, uh, <laughs> Don't we have Jess that can take a picture of a dime from like 80 feet in the air or something? Well, we, can we, can, we, have, we have satellites that can take pictures right. of license plates. There you go. <laughs> from That's outer space. About. Yeah. And we can't find a Sasquatch? Well, Is that yeah, what you're saying? Around, you well, know, maybe. Yeah, maybe with with a a natural, natural camouflage. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, turn into a treat. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of money behind those satellites. I'd like to know who's paying for them and what they're doing with the erased pictures of Bigfoot they got from this. Oh. You're exactly right. We can't let this We out. can't trust the satellite uh, operators. You're exactly right. On the day one, if you get elected president, they walk you in a room and they go, Bigfoot's real, and they send you off on your own. Yeah. That's what they do. And I deal with that. Mm -hmm. Do you think there are, uh. do you believe in aliens? Me? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those jet pilots, those those pilots having the thing, you know, I saw that. Right. That's odd, right? Yeah, it what is. What is that? We don't know. have an answer to that. No? <laughs> what, if it's, uh, what if it's a Bigfoot flying a, uh, oh, well, a, a UFO? Whammy. Yeah. Oh, that's Chewbacca. That's what you yeah. got there. <laughs> I'd say he's behind the wheel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe Chewbacca is a Sasquatch. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Maybe. A Wookiee. <laughs> As the, yes. as the as the they Star Wars people <laughs> say, yes. Christy, oh, news. Oh, Hello, God, please. Somebody speak. Somebody do we something. need Tom. It's official. <laughs> it's so Did you just good. say that out loud? 
I didn't mean it. <laughs> Next. Oh. <laughs> it's it, God, that, Boy, that, that is, that is, I, is. I will not do blood. that anymore. Man. That frightened me. Chills down I, the spine. I pushed the button. And that that's one of me. the real ones. It's, I mean, that's yeah. like, he's not playing Hey, do you have the real... When he the other day he told you to stop doing something? No, Ooh, because he cursed. He used two curses. Yeah. And we no, no, not anymore. that. When oh. you were you were making a TikTok oh, noise in your, noise. In your oh, microphone. Right. Uh, maybe this. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Look at Willie's face. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's Christmas morning. Oh. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, Willie. I'm sorry, it's, Willie. No, earlier we said that olfactory smells take you back. Yeah. I think it's audio of my dad. Yeah. Maybe it's just for me. That could just be a me example. Don't do that. I, Didn't you ruin one Christmas? Yeah, I ruined a Christmas. Me and Charlie oh. were fighting in the back of the car, and then he said, GD, Willie, you've ruined Christmas again. I ruined multiple oh. Christmases. It's crazy. You ruined more Christmases than the Grinch. Somebody talk. Somebody talk. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to yell the deepest, darkest family secret, and then I will get fired. So, Christy, go ahead. Willie, we love you. You're safe here. Don't worry. Hey, Michigan police arrested a 12-year-old boy who allegedly led them on a chase in a stolen forklift. Rad. Yeah. Officer- he should be the new mayor. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Officers were called to Forsyth Middle School on the report of a stolen forklift. They found it heading south through the city, gave chase at speeds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. <laughs> the driver later identified as a 12-year-old Ann Arbor boy finally stopped the forklift and was taken into custody. Hmm. Police later discovered the forklift had been left unlocked with a key hidden in the cab. Isn't this every 12-year-old boy's dream? Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. God. Boy, but it was fun. Yeah. He's going to be doing community service at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> You see those three pallets yeah. over there? <laughs> well, they're not going to load themselves, okay? Yeah, forklifts, it's a real shame that you have to use those things for jobs and serious work. Because if you could just use that as a fun guy machine, oh, oh it'd yeah. be so oh. fun. Put a hole in some drywall, yeah. turn around, rip the wall out. A lot of fun to be at a forklift. Oh. Uh, Prince Harry in the news today. He raced headfirst on a tiny skeleton sled going 61 and a half miles per hour. Christy, is this the good prince? I, I don't. I get he's them the confused. bad prince. Down okay. a track at. This uh, is the red-haired prince. Yeah, the next. Uh, yeah, he's the yeah. one that left. And, yeah, All right. Now he's okay. living in. Josh, this is the California. Roadhouse reboot of princes. <laughs> I see. <laughs> but he was there for the Invictus Invic, Invictus Games. Um, and he apparently did the skeleton sled thing. That would be 61 and a half miles per hour. Yeah, it seems scary. Bob sled run. Would well, you luckily, do that? No, luckily it wouldn't seem that much faster laying on your belly going face yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. The track he sped down twice Thursday is one of the world's fastest bobsled tracks and also boasts the skeleton races as well. Holy cow. Is that what the skeleton is when your head first down? I don't even know the difference. Bobsled's on your back. There's the luge, but then the skeleton is even more less safe. Uh, no, it's uh, very thinly built. It's oh. just barely uh, a couple of runners and a board, Ooh. I think. No, Man. thanks. Yeah. No, thank you. He must have trained for that. I mean, that must be something he does then. That's not something you would do all the time. I would. I don't know. What do you got to train for? You I mean, think so go downhill, again. right? They strap you go. to it and let you go. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good way to be killed. Yeah. What if you hit the wall? <laughs> well, you don't get killed. What if you what stop you with your head? Yeah. You need your brain. <laughs> there's no head. Da- there's no uh, wall down there. They just, it's, boom, no. clear. Yes. You go. Okay. Let's go. We can all do it. No thanks. <laughs> Have you ever been on a bobsled? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've done a lot of things. All right. Okay, I think you would know. I, w- right? I repelled once. What do you make of that? Really? Well, yeah, yeah. What I was her story name? there. <laughs> Tell you what I did. Tell you what I did. Well, you were in the Marines. Yeah, you probably yeah. Had to we do did that some things. I jumped out of a plane. I landed. The thing opened up. I was fine. What? The thing <laughs> opened. Oh, you really did jump out of a plane? And oh shoot yeah. I and tell all stories all the time like this. You know. <laughs> well, this is the first we're hearing of it. <laughs> they, they had time to my act. I'm working on stories now. <laughs> oh, okay. That's my right. parachute story. Yeah. They put a thing on. It jumped out of the plane. It opened. I was fine. How much time did that add to my act? <laughs> Four seconds? Yeah, easily. Yeah. All right. yeah. Didn't you fly safely over South Carolina? Or yeah, North Carolina? yeah, I flied up over North Carolina. <laughs> North Carolina? All of a sudden, we, had it, we landed safely and had lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Just spit it out. <laughs> Surrounded by potato, potato salad. But, but surrounded Whatever. by potato salad. Uh, Have you ever yeah, captained a yeah. uh, plane there, Greg? Have I done what? Captain a <laughs> plane. Captain the plane. Can you fly a, can have you fly you fly a plane? Have I ever flown a plane? Yeah. Yeah, with well, the guy sitting next to me. You what, say, yeah, you hold what the What announcements thing. would you give? 
Oh, yeah, hey. You mean if I was a pilot? Yeah. And hey, Greg, when we ask you to come in, go? please remember <laughs> your material. <laughs> I can't even remember English. I'm calling Maybe this is Commander Hahn, call sign Grim Reaper. That's right. yes. We've had 1,400 aircraft carrier landings, 27 confirmed kills. We're coming in hot. <laughs> Boogie's on our six. Keep your civilian trash in the overhead bins. Stay out of my laboratory. <laughs> Cut the jack on the house. Get your seatbelts off. Get up and mingle. Hunt out. <laughs> oh. uh, there it is. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Hey, do, you sleep, do you sleep on planes? No, I don't at all. No, you're up. No, no, no. Reader? No, I don't read. Just look, just stare, you stare, you stare. Just sit there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like a maniac. He just like lays. a maniac. You ever been in a horrible mood on an airplane and you of wish course. someone would try to hijack the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, please come up there today. Today? Uh, yes. The last time but I flew. You're right the parasite. <laughs> The last time what, Jeff? Oh, when I just flew a couple of weeks ago, there was a group of people who looked a bit suspicious, and I uh, I had my ballpoint pen in my hand the whole time, <laughs> just waiting to go for an aorta. Just jam. If they move, I'm going for the neck. Wow. You know, uh, the I, I, hate to, I hate to smell, <laughs> let, fill you in on this, Jeff, yeah. but when you walk on a plane, people grab their ballpoint pen. <laughs> Talk about suspicious. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You, don't, you know what you need. You don't when think you, you get... fit a certain description. <laughs> you know what you need when you get on a, uh, a plane. What do you need? Is some cheese. That's yeah, what you need. Oh, you're absolutely right. And right. uh, boy, do we have the cheese for you. Tell me about some it. Some of man. you know about it already. You've been kind enough to check out Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. And you've uh, let me know that you are just absolutely loving it. Jim has written in. He says, just wanted to thank you, Josh, for getting me hooked on Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. It's the best cheese I've ever had. I just got my Bob and Tom package, and it is awesome. I'm so glad that you feel that way, Jim. Thank you for checking it out. I'll tell you a little bit about that Bob and Tom sampler package in just a second. My gosh, Gardeners. They're having their President's Day sale right now. You can save up to 20% off site-wide. It's the perfect time to try their famous squeaky cheese curds. That's right. They're made fresh in the morning and most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. And you can try a little bit of everything that Gardner's has to offer with the Bob and Tom Sampler Package. This is the perfect intro to all of Gardner's most beloved products, including that bacon oven baked cheese. My gosh. Now, this arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, air fry it. You also get that eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, which is my favorite, Greg Hahn. What's your favorite cheese style? A Swiss. Wow. They've got it, my friend. In fact, they have a wonderful... Swiss blend that is just melt in your mouth good. They also have teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and so much more. Go to gardenerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. And for the sophisticated yes, palates, yes. they have super sharp aged cheddars. Creamy melt in your mouth like butter. My goodness, you can get four years old up to 17 years old. And they pair perfectly with your favorite glass of wine or your favorite beer. What I'm telling you is shop gardeners, and, and, and right now it's their President's Day sale. Save up to 20% off site-wide. Plus, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardenerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. They've made it super easy for you there by having a dedicated Bob and Tom page. I think you're really going to enjoy what they have. That's gardenerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. Please check them out and let them know that we sent you. Coming right back with Today in History and uh, things we learned on the show, and uh, we'll Yay. be here. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the info in the VIP area at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Yeah, it is. Thanks so much for tuning in to Bob and Tom Radio. By the way, Greg Warren going to be joining us Monday, President's Day, with another edition of The Warren Report. Perhaps it will be about the presidents. And you can catch him this weekend in Lexington, Kentucky at Comedy Off-Broadway. That's tonight and tomorrow night, Saturday, February 17th. Then Greg Warren's going to be taking his funny to the funny bone in Dayton, Ohio, next weekend, Friday, February 23rd. And Saturday, February 24th. And make sure you're tuned in on Monday to catch comedian Greg Warren with his Warren Report. And Reno Collier going to be joining us as well with his Country Fried Take. Coming up next, things we learned on the Bob and Tom Show. And we'll take a look at history on this February 16th. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned to Bob and Tom Radio. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom News Update. The Biden administration is easing its restrictions on banking giant Wells Fargo, saying the bank has sufficiently fixed its toxic culture after years of scandals. The news sent Wells Fargo's stock up sharply in afternoon trading as investors speculated that the bank, which had been under a tight leash by regulations for years, may be able to start growing again. A Wisconsin lawmakers have passed bills designed to regulate artificial intelligence, joining a growing number of states grappling with how to control the technology as November's election looms. The Assembly Thursday approved a bipartisan measure to require political candidates and groups to include disclaimers in ads that use AI technology. And if you haven't already heard, on April 8th, the sun will pull another disappearing act across parts of Mexico, the United States and Canada, turning the day into night for as much as four minutes and 28 seconds in some parts. That's twice as long as the total solar eclipse that darkened U.S. skies in 2017. By the way, there won't be another sp uh, spanning coast to coast in the United States until 2045. So you may not want to miss that opportunity. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Every phrase oh, Tom no. says, I just like I just picture that being his last phrase undercover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you homies know when the ski resort's about to close, you get your 40 ounce and you find your hoop. Blam! <laughs> Can't even finish the sentence. He's an arc. <laughs> that, that's the last thing they hear on the FBI wire is Tom going pate. Yeah. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Now, Rick, you've got a, you've got your stepdaughter as well. How old is she now? Nine? She's seven. Seven. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Seven and ten. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> seven. I can't even have. See, I know. I have two girls. It's obvious to me I'm being repaid for years and years of sexist behavior, right? The, the zigs on the tables are turned, and now I'm the sweaty, palpitating dad, the kid at the door, you know, knock, knock. Hi, Mr. Schrader, here to pick up my... Uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I like your daughter very much. You know, I own a van. Oh, God. <laughs> she has the Kama Sutra bookmobile with her. Uh, Benoit, Benoit balls hanging off the rearview mirror. You know? I love Poontang, painted on the side. Oh, great, you know. I, uh, I, uh, I guess I got a few years to relax. Yeah, yeah you, you got a few. Yeah, as long as she's still, you know, eating her boogers. Yeah. 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 Bob and Tom, 24-7. An overturned truck spilled 42,000 pounds of beer onto a West Virginia highway the day after Christmas. Damn. I just picture hill folk crawling out of the ditch immediately. <laughs> like the second the beers hit, all of a sudden there's tw tw 30 people. <laughs> hill, oh, come on, get them, get them, get them beer. Go on, get them. Go on, grab them. Give me that straw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they didn't ship it in a big tanker? No. You're thinking of gasoline. Yes, gasoline goes in big tankers. <laughs> I've seen one filled with fat. It said, uh, this fat is not edible. It's used for something else. Non potable it was a fat. Tanker. Ew. Here's one of the fattest things I've ever done. <laughs> oh, God. They once, uh, somebody once put a sign on my back that said, this fat is not edible. It is just used for other uses. <laughs> is that what you wanted, chick? <laughs>
Jimmy Schubert is our guest. But I prefer mobile food myself. Yeah. I, I mean, I prefer food that's had to make it in the world just like I have. Uh -huh. I mean, if I'm going to eat food, I prefer food that doesn't come from the ground. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> vegetables, you know, they, they suck the nutrients from the mud. Mm -hmm. Would you eat mud? No. No. <laughs> then why eat the middleman? <laughs> you know, God made animals slow enough to catch. He obviously intended for us to eat them. <laughs> Besides that, what's the fun in hunting a vegetable? <laughs> Any more I can sneak up on a carrot. <laughs> Some of that stuff's not even food, celery. That's not food. That's like uh, dental floss trapped inside a car. Carbohydrates. <laughs> I was reading about celery. You know, there's four calories in a stick of celery. Four takes your body six calories to process. Mm -hmm. A stuck of you could kill yourself eating salad. <laughs> <laughs> that's not food. That's such slow suicide. What happened? Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile. But it's still... Poop. You can pick your morning radio show. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I think we all know what that music means. Oh, I guess I said that before. I, played the music. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an email real quick, if I may. Stop the music! We were talking about uh, fighters and mentioning uh, uh, El uh, Kukui. Is that uh, yeah? We came up with the, what it means. The boogeyman. That's right. Andrew ah. writes in and uh, tells. He also says, "P.S. My wife and I saw Pat at uh, Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington, Kentucky. He and his sidekick, your son, killed it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. He goes on to say, we also saw Josh. I got to greet him with a hello, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing about your performance, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, the guy said we saw Pat. He was so funny. We loved it. We also saw Josh and said hello. Said hello. <laughs> Even said his son killed it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Would anyone care to guess what today's big event is? February sixteenth. His be... history of the world. The birth. Hang on. Of... This this could be it. Oh, oh the birth of. <laughs> Grizzly Adams. <laughs> That's obscure. So close. <laughs> so close. And it's not the birth of the blues either. It's uh, archaeologists opened the tomb of King Tut. Ooh, oh, I love archaeology How about stuff. That? She Egypt loves archaeology Egypt stuff. Egyptology <laughs> or whatever seen they call it. Any of those movies? They're all nerds who make ghosts come back. Get out yeah, of town. Yeah, you're yeah. You're cursed. You're immediately well. cursed. Is that right? Yes. Take your little broom. Get out of town. I don't want that. <laughs> your little broom. 19, <laughs> 1923 in Thebes, Egypt on this date, English, ar English archaeologist <laughs> Howard Carter entered the sealed burial chamber of the ancient Egyptian ruler King Tutankhamun. I bet it smelled. I bet oh, it did. It oh, I bet they do bad. smell. Terrible. And uh, uh, Dr. Carter was never heard from again. <laughs> no. no I killed, made that uh, last part. And those, they're so small and tight, those areas they have to crawl through. Oh, just uh, oh, Yeah, they're small because you're not supposed to go there. So quit getting into <laughs> trouble. Get out of there. There was a sarcophagus. I always get that word confused. Is it sarcophagus or carsophagus? Sarcophagus. Sar, mm. is it S first? I don't know. S first, yeah. I don't know either. Right? Uh, in 1804, U.S. Navy board, boarded and uh, burned uh, the USS Philadelphia in a daring mission to save some soldiers. That's exciting. You probably know that in your history or uh, your military history. You, you studied when you were in the Marines, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. I don't remember this. I don't remember this boring, next right? event. <laughs> yes, if you're wondering, I did read that by mistake. And... <laughs> This next one, I don't remember this. It would seem like we would all know this today on this date in history. In 1951, Joseph Stalin attacked the United Nations. I don't remember that. I wasn't I'm around in 51. Why would well, I remember it would be, that? Uh, it would be, you know, you've got to know things that didn't happen while you were alive. Not right? really. I don't. No, he came to New York. He, he, he walked he, into the walked, U.S. He walked into the U.S. He attacked everybody in there. Evidently, and Han wasn't there. Because if Han yeah. seen yeah. Yeah. He, he's he's coming in. Been an injustice. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody like to care, uh, like to date, uh, like to guess what date was the first 911 call placed? Probably on February 16th. What year? <laughs> what year? I don't want to do this, I but I will. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Did you hear it? Anybody want to guess the uh, year? 19 or 02. I'm going to say 71. 77. 58. 
62. <laughs> 68. 68. I feel like I've lost 68. I owe you one, huh? Uh, 1959, Castro sworn in as prime minister. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Unsung hero. <laughs> <laughs> misunderstood. <laughs> Very misunderstood. Very fashionable. Uh, 1984, Bill Johnson became the first American to win Olympic gold in downhill skiing in the most uh, American name in the history of the world. <laughs> the Bill <most> Johnson. <laughs> My goodness. Never heard of Bill, have you? Never heard of, of Bill Johnson? Not. No. Oh, no. Well, no. Well, you were alive in 84, though. Oh, I was, so I, I should have known that. You really Sorry. should. Mm. Time now for things Tom we uh, covered. Tom, Tom Griswold. Ed Wilson. <laughs> Tom <laughs> and Bill Fidel Castro. Tom Griswold's on assignment. He'll be back on uh, Tuesday. Willie is here with great hair. Yes. Thank you. You guys like this stuff? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Look at that. There Thank is a guys. state and federal law we have to have a Griswold on the show. That's how this <laughs> what kind of haircut is that? Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I got a haircut in November, and I haven't got one since then. So how about that? I'm nice. calling it the two months out. Five months no wash, a lot of dry shampoo, style. Looks, Looks good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> things, we, things we learned brought to you by Hyundai, the all-new Hyundai 2024 Santa Fe, equipped for adventure with capable features like H-Track all-wheel drive and standard third-row seating. Uh, let's see. Some chapel slid into the ocean. Mm hmm Before your nephew, Christy, could be married there. Is that correct? That's correct. Holy heck. That's a that's bizarre. He's off the hook. Yeah, no, he's exactly. Not. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> a free and if, man. And had they been married, they would be illegally divorced. Now. Are you going to that wedding? Uh, I don't think so. I you, don't know. You don't love him very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Maybe gift. now that it's not in California. No oh, gift. yeah. yeah. Uh, Caitlin Clark set the record for women's uh, hoops last night. She got more than That's her age. She had story. forty-nine points, nine wow. threes, thirteen assists. Uh, Jeff Oske wants a candle that smells like new baby. A little weird, but okay. New, new baby. Make mm -hmm. it sounded like you've spelled it U D E. <laughs> you <Huge> baby. <laughs> new yeah, baby. New, new baby. Yeah. New. Uh, get it right. All Huge baby. baby. <laughs> All babies are nude, right? They they come out that way. And Greg Hahn uh, lives by the ocean. You go out there and swim around a little bit, don't you? We're gonna get the jet ski, chick. We're going out. <laughs> me and you, you and me. We're going fishing. Have a good weekend. We'll be back Monday. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show.